<laughs> I didn't actually deafen mute my mic uh, while I was doing all the clickety clack. So uh, you got to hear all of that, which is really fun and grand and awesome. And the game audio is a little loud. Maybe it's just me. I hope it's just me. That'd be embarrassing if it weren't. But wow, it's been like a little, just just a little bit since Octopath. And we have some we have some new folks tonight. Um, and we have some old folks tonight, and we have some youthful folks tonight, and we have some uh, elderly folks tonight. And, you know, I mean, that's, that's all good and fun. So, we'll just get right into it. Um, I know that life is exciting and short, so why am I wasting time? Uh, good question. Good question. Good question. Uh, da -da 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 we are going to undefining in 10, 9, 8... Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, zero. Fuck yeah! You timed that. Oh my shit. god! Is this some fucking critical role ass bullshit? I see. I hear. What? <laughs> Where you time it so that when I undeafen, you just like say a oh. swear. <laughs> is that what this is? No. We are unintentionally. Yes. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. We're back with more Octopath Traveler. I know last week I wanted to do it. And then I I had the tummy rumblings, which were not friendly or pleasant or uh, of any kind of nature. Bolchich did you not shoot dying. himself on stream. I will, which is like really sad. Friends, He's travelers, not a true gamer. I will not shit myself on stream. <laughs> um, you know who else won't shit Howard. themselves on stream, as far as I'm aware? We have someone new to the Voltage VO Someone sphere. new. Who are you, and what do you do, and where are you from, and where are you going? Oh god, alright, full interview time, let's go. Hi, my name's Brandon. You may know me by Kingly Red on the Twitters, and the Instagrams, and all of that. I'm also a voice actor, like everyone here. Hooray! It's crazy, right? Yeah. It's almost like we all do this. Mm -hmm. uh, you can mostly hear me, I do stuff for Crunchyroll, I've been doing a lot of anime this past year, Let's also a couple go. video games and stuff. Uh, main thing right now is Dead Mount Death Play on Crunchyroll, main voice Takumi on that. Hell yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm just here to have a good time, I love this game, so. Hell yeah, uh, that's awesome. Hell Thank you for yeah. joining, I know you, we've been trying to like, line something up to make it work. So yeah, um, I have a I have a human schedule now, so this should this should be fine. Gosh I'm very bless. happy to be here. So, Thank you. last we left off... We were in the Riverlands, I think this was, and it's like, I gotta figure out what the hell I'm doing. Because, like, when you don't play a JRPG for, like, two and a half weeks, um, you forget yeah. everything. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. You're like, what the fuck am I go Where am I? Where the fuck do I go? So, okay. I think you guys ended, like, right before finishing Alfin's chapter one. Yes. And, yes. okay. Uh, so, Zeph isn't here right now, so we'll... I we'll can ping him real quick. Yeah, sounds good. Basically, um, I, all I know is that uh, I could steal from children, and that is a good idea. Um, <laughs> I have learned how many main characters there are in this game, don't worry. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> how and, many are there? Um, there's at least four. Okay, good, yeah. You know, because I mean... That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong! You're not wrong! <laughs> it's just, you know... There's at least four and no more than seven. Um, I'm gonna no. blow your fucking mind, bro. <laughs> Wait, what? No way. I'm gonna blow your mind. Oh shit. There's actually what? six. Whoa. What? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Whoa. That's Zeph. Zeph's here. He's here. Hello. 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 Later that night. Hmm. I wonder how Seth is doing. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> he just joined VC. What do you mean, Alvin? I shouldn't worry. He'll be fine. Like always. You know, Seth. I've given it all to be the best apothecary I can be. To be more like you-know-who. But sometimes, I feel like I'm still so far away. Hmm. Oh, 
All it'd take is a stiff breeze to blow the backwater village off the map. And yet, this is where I was born and raised, where I learned my craft. It's got grouchy Gerdas, who I ain't never seen smiling. Meryl's got her act together, but she still needs a shoulder to cry on every now and then. Gotta keep an eye on old Alex Koff, too. And you, Seth. I've given you a hard time since the gods know when. You invited me to study together with you under your father. Take care of the books after we went to business together. Right. What was I thinking? I better stick around here after all. But not here. I better go see how Zeph is holding up. This is I was Zeph, yeah, right? This is Jillian. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I think it was Jillian. Yep. Elf. The flame take me. It worked. Nina's feeling better by the hour. I knew it. With you on the job, was there ever any doubt? Thank you, Alfin, for everything. It, you saved my sister's life. How can I ever repay you? Don't even mention it. I helped out someone in a bind. Simple as that. Those words. I remember when we were still small and the great pestilence came. Father could cure every disease known to man, but for the first time, he was at a loss. And one day, a traveler came into town bearing the an elixir, the likes of which we've never seen. Oh shit, who is this? Is this someone important, Lou? Uh, he's uh, pseudo-important, but he won't show up again for a long time. Yeah. A long time, hmm? Okay. Down the the NPC roll arena list starting at the top, it's Adam, of course. Hi. This will do. Can we get some levels? Oh, sure. Hi. This will do it. Oh shit. That's an elfin. Thanks, mister. But why'd you save me? We ain't got no money, you know? Listen, son. Listen well. I saw someone in a bind, and I helped him out. Simple as that. Shucks. I hope I can do that too someday. Ever since that day, you've worked your damnness to become just like your hero. To help people out just like he did. Oh, um... Is that how it went? Alfin. We've been together forever now. So I can tell. You want to leave this place, don't you? You want to travel the world and help as many people as you can. Just like him. Mm. 
<laughs> you know. I'm not daft, you know. But still, this is my home. I know you're a skilled apothecary, Zeph. At least as good as... No, probably even a little better than me. But I can't leave you to look after the whole village on your own. Besides, who else would cut your ego down to size? Who will listen to Gerda's grumblings and Meryl's tales of unrequited love? I will! I'll do it all! Ugh. Don't you worry about anything. I'll see to it that the villagers are happy and healthy. I swear it on my life. So go out and see the realm, Alf. Do it with your heart at ease and your head held high. Guess what, Ma? I'm going on a journey. Time to see just how far my talents will go. I'm going to save the folks the world over, just like the man who saved me. Keep an eye on me, would you? Thank the gods you're still here. Come on, Zeph. I didn't ask for a going away party. It's a little present for the road. It's nothing special, but... I want you to take my satchel. That way, no matter how far you travel, I'll be right there with you. Wow. You weren't kidding when you said it's nothing special. <laughs> yeah. I, it was the only thing that came to me. <laughs> Thanks, Seth. I'll take good care of it. Here. Why don't you hold on to mine, too? That's so cute. <laughs> They're boyfriends. I just want to... <laughs> now there's a plan. I'll put it to good use, Alf. Alrighty then. See you around. Be safe out there, friend. Aww. And so Alfin set forth on his journey, travel far and wide, and ease the pain of the sick and suffering, just as one man once did for him. Little did he know what awaited him in his travels. I thought there was going to be more after that, so I left it hanging. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a good that's a good little story bit. That's fun. And some gay little boys. And and no. uh, and so uh, remind me, the orange text bubbles. Do they have any like bearing on thing? Are they specific? I think they oh, they must be. Uh, when there's an orange text bubble, that means that they have a quest to give you. So a you quest. should talk to them normally. A mm -hmm. quest. Okay. A quest. A quest. A quest. Oh, shit. Quest. Who's Meryl? Uh, Jillian's been a main. Um, okay. So normally we go down the list. Um, so that would mean after Jillian is Brandon. 
Let's go. Brandon, you are Meryl, unless you want to pass it on. Oh, no, I, I accept this challenge. All right. Stay, isn't it? My name is Meryl. Take an ass. Say, <laughs> would you mind lending me an ear? Something's happened that I can't tell anyone else about. Okay. You see, I found a bottle floating in the river. Odd thing is, there was a letter inside. Want to know what it said? Yeah. To my Meryl, I loved you dearly, but had no choice but to put you in the care of another. I hope you have found happiness wherever life has taken you. From far away, your mother. But I have parent, right here in Clearbook. I want to ask them about this, but I'm scared of what they'll tell me. Okay, so begins the quest of Meryl. And what can we steal from this lovely lady? Um, nothing that I would want can I, to steal. Can I interject for a second? Yeah, what's up? So I see that you guys have Therion already, and yes. I just... I did the opposite. Alfin is my boy, he's my favorite character. Yes. I, I, I did his story first. Oh and you know, his, his the whole thing is like, yeah, I want to go out into the world and help people with whatever they need. Yes. And so if you if you go straight to Therion, Therion's like, hey, loser, help me break into this mansion. And Elfin's like, cool, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, that's what makes it really fun is um, <laughs> yeah. uh, I started this game because, look, I was playing Live Alive before this. And I got to oh, say, like, game. Live Alive's a great game. But in Live Alive, your choices matter just a little bit more, it feels like, <laughs> to some degree. Like, I was like, if I steal from them, are they going to be mad at me forever? Oh, no. And I imagine there's just, like, tons of side quests in this game and whatever. And my biggest pet peeve with JRPGs is, like, missable stuff. And, like, yeah. oh, you make one mistake at the start of the game and that's it. You know? So it's like, uh, I, I don't want to mess that up. But luckily, it doesn't seem like there's too many of those in here so far. Not terribly so. No, I don't think you can... It offers a lot of, like, freedom for kind of how doing it however you... Yeah. I think yep. the only thing you can really miss is, like, stealing boss items. Yeah. Alright, so, and then we have this character, the Angler. Lou, be the Angler. Oh, the shit, Angler the video cat. game nerd? Yeah. Pash! It's an ill fated time to be a fisher, I tell ye. <laughs> the Plounder are disappearing from these waters. Gods only know why. How can I feed my kin if my nets come up empty? For want of fish, so there's like that's a great Scottish accent. <laughs> that wasn't even me trying to be Scottish, <laughs> <laughs> and that was what makes it so great. <laughs> so is there like a quest list in here somewhere, or like I think it's in the journal. Yeah, journal. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Oh wait. I think that's oh, just side like stories. Previous. I yeah, see. Side yeah. Got it. Okay, so you can like just do a ton of these. Okay. Yeah. Um, my intention is like I'll do some if they line up with things or whatever. Um, but you know, I mean, like, this is a big game and uh, there's a lot to do. So I'm gonna try to be intentional with progression to some degree, and then like yeah. as we feel inclined, we'll do side content and whatnot. Um. There's no missables in Octopath, thankfully. That is, like, straight up a relief to me because I hate missable content in JRPGs so much. Okay, Olive of Life. I forgot to turn on Twitch so yeah. I can check the chat. Oh, Sigma. Oh, yeah, I also forgot to do that. Oh, you're good. Uh, oh, Sigma, be the fishmonger. <laughs> Another fine haul. My nets are bursted with plunder. Aren't I taking too many, he asked? <laughs> There's nothing. Plenty of fish in the sea, but or the river, such as it were. Ah, can I steal the plounder from you? Ah, oh, hmm, hmm. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. I don't need that. I don't need that last one. <laughs> I was about to say, watch this be the one you fail. No, I'm. I know how to. I know how to push my luck. Let's put it that way. Um, <laughs> I have That's when you just save scum. You're yeah, just like, no. I know, but like at the same time, I have to admit, I have these just extreme luck. Like it's either the best luck or the worst luck. There is no in between. And And you're a streamer too, which makes it worse. Oh, it sure does. You got to commit, bro. You know what? You're so right. Here we go. <laughs> give me give me this fucking Adelwort. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the money time. Oh yeah, random encounters. Oh hey, Alex. Oh my gosh, look, it's a frog. Oh, God, the torts. Let's. Okay, I gotta remember how to do this shit now too. I love Chrono Trigger. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh. Yes. Okay. I'm figuring it out. So that's a. There is one thing. Um. I I have to say, in playing a lot of modern JRPGs these days, they all have voice acting, which to me I really like because I am a type of person who, when we see a lot of dialogue and a lot of words, like my brain sees words first and then hears them later or like reads them second. Whereas like when I hear stuff, I can internalize it a lot faster. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so like, I was wondering like, is that the same for you all or like, you know, within reason, like how do you process that kind of stuff? I like it because hire me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, true. <laughs> but like, if I'm not, if I can't be hired, like, look, I'm not going to be hired for fucking Star Ocean 3 or whatever they do, you know? At least not I yet. Think you not might yet. be. Not yet. <laughs> uh, I think Never for things ever. like, I think for things like Octopath, where like the dialogue are, the dialogue scenes are very much like condensed. So like, you're not reading like compound sentences or anything like wild in one line. Yes. I think it's easier for like these games to have VO and it for it to be like digestible compared to like Genshin, for example, because as much as I love the voiceover in Genshin, I'm skipping through that dialogue half the time because fucking hell, what? it's like paragraphs There's on paragraphs. So much. There is so much. It's what? so much. You mean you're it never not listening ends. to the, all the VA done by your like, peers and colleagues? Full, full stop. Full stop. If I can, like if it's like a really intense scene, like I'll usually just leave it on auto. But like when it's like the beginning or when it's Paimon, Oh, bro. Oh, my God. Be... Time I, I, like, don't let, shut up, don't let Karina Karina hear you. Don't let Karina hear you. I, I cannot stand Paimon for the life of me. It's Karina so does an amazing bad. job, but I just cannot stand Paimon as a character. So anytime her dialogue is on screen, I'm just mashing through that shit because I can't. <laughs> I've been really working on um, my Paimon impression these days, you know? Oh, my God. Like, I think oh, it's a no. really good party trick. Oh, no. Like, I've been, I've been really working on it. So I'm I'm excited. Like I'll maybe I'll get some gigs with it. Who knows? <laughs> PTSD. <laughs> what do you mean PTSD? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my Paimon impression. I will have you know. Can we get some more levels on you, Alex? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's too afraid. Snake loves Voltage's Paimon impression. You're, you're looking for anybody to give you permission to do it. I, I say just do it. I just am. do it. Okay, you want to hear my Paimon impression? Okay. I want to hear your Paimon impression. But but it's going to happen one way or the other. Okay. You ready? Here it is. Hello, I'm Paimon from the hit game Genshin Impact. Thanks for playing my hit game. <laughs> yeah. Do you need I was emergency fully prepared. Food? Do you, like, are you ready to draw for, uh, 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 I don't even know what you get in Genshin Impact Resin? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you I'm sound like Luigi before. from that one video. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Mario. Mario. Hello, Mario. Hello, Traveler. Hello, Mario. Hello, I'm Natasha, an underworld doctor. Oh my god! Oh, bro, oh my god! We were, streaming, we were streaming that with we were making we were streaming that with Alice a few days ago. Oh no! We made so oh, many god. jokes I about saw, that. I saw it. Got a little, a little crazy. Whoa! Fucking bro, voltage! I was fully prepared for you to like <laughs> jump into your high ridge. Anytime I see mommy from fucking Rent a Girlfriend, I immediately think of you. What, <laughs> what do you mean by that? Rent a Girlfriend. Because of the, real time, because, of the because of the fan dub. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. Well, Voltage's feminine uh feminine voice is, is very effective. <laughs> it, it honestly it's really good. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about! Super effective! Look, I, I mean, know like, it can no. be toxic and villainous and terrible, but like really? <laughs> <laughs> oh oh my no. God. Maybe I'll get gigs off of that. Like, it, it's the best showcasing of your voice. I'm just like, oh my god. I Voltage guarantee you range. someone is willing to pay money for that, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. Oh, okay. oh one. It's eight. Uh, it's eight I'm going to D&D. Yep. I'll be back if you're still streaming. Have fun. Done. Right, Peace out. Bye.
Pog champs. No, what happened was we were doing an ADR practice, you know, and they were like, <laughs> and they were like, oh no, we don't have a voice for mommy for from Rent a Girlfriend, and I was like, I can be mommy. Oh, Lord. I'm like, why not? I mean, look. Can we clip that? <laughs> and the bulges could be mommy. <laughs> Bulges is Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and so I, I, didn't know, like, I, didn't know you, I didn't know you bald like that, bro. Look, I look, I will do whatever you need me to do, so long as it doesn't have to be on camera. And hey, ho. Maybe, okay, maybe within reason, but you know what I mean. That's, like, a, that's a blank check you just wrote. It is. Yeah. Like, I, write oh a lot of, I write a lot of checks on stream that my wallet cannot cash. Cannot cash. <laughs> Did we clip that too? Yeah. That check gonna bounce. Snake's here to clip, so might as well. Get um, on it, Snakey. Yeah, get on it, yeah. Snake. But like, so we were doing ADR practice, and I'm like, you know what? I don't even care, because like, this isn't going anywhere, so like, why not? You know? Like, so I was like, yeah, sure, I'll play mommy. And um, and then, like, <laughs> it scared Lou, apparently. <laughs> it didn't scare me, but it was just like, I was not expecting that to come out of your mouth. What do like, you mean? <laughs> the way your voice came out, it was fucking scary in a good way. How was it scary? Was now it just I'm like. I'm curious. Now you have to do it. I don't even remember what I did. It, it's like this, this, uh -oh. like, like, Maybe that's posh, not a good like, thing. valley girl, like. Like, Listen, I just don't understand what the problem is. That, that's actually really that, good. Okay, that's actually really good. Damn. It's damn. just something that I'm a little concerned about, and I don't want to be caught off guard is all. I that's, hate that and that's a like, really damn. cute voice. Like, that's a cute damn. voice. What the? <laughs> I, I, like... Yeah, so I just did that with ADR, and like, that was, that was, that was not the easiest thing to do, ADR. I will say that. ADR is already oh. hard, and then that was, like, weird. So I'm just patting myself on the back right now, like, saying, look how cool I am. Oh. I can do ADR. No, you're noise. fucking, like, I promise I won't tell the people at college was fucking perfect. I was just... It's like, <laughs> I promise I won't tell the people at college. Like, oh my god! Lord, that's great. Hey, you do it so well, actually. It's, it's kind of bothersome. Yeah. <laughs> Jealous, Alex? <laughs> yeah, you mad? <laughs> oh, maybe a little. Are you mad that I can uh, throw it <laughs> back like that? I think Venvolt was this oh my powerful. God. Look, I'm not going to put that on my demo reel. Like, look, there, there is sure? a fine you line, should. right? I could, but was, like, I can't do that for more than a half hour. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there are some voices that are definitely like, I can do for longer that are voices more than they are like, you know, acting, acting. But like, I don't know. It's like fun to whip out every once in a while. <laughs> don't forget about your boost, Walter. I know, but I like I like just doing one single attack. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> coward. Uh, yeah, call me a coward. I, I I'll accept it. It's my stream. Voltage wears many hats. Why not? Thank you for the clip snake. Danger level twenty. I'm out of here. <laughs> 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 Fuck it. We out. <laughs> Ah, great way to get Everybody some levels. Everybody just needs to type tower, coward right now. Everyone just types coward, it's fine. All right, fine, fuck it, we're going back in. No. <laughs> not, not, not on this one. Get back, you coward. Yeah, coward! You, could, you could call me a coward. It'll be fine. But, like, I gotta say, when it comes to doing the JRPGs and the voices and whatnot, like, it is really fun to listen to those, especially when it's games that, like, I played as a kid and now they have voice acting to some degree, or like, they've been updated in a way where uh, they do have voice acting now. I think that that's really cool, and it's like, wow, I did that for uh, for my fun self, and now I get to do it for money. But um, <laughs> just, just hearing the voices is a lot more helpful for me for like, digesting the story of the game rather than trying to read it. So mm, That's fair. That's just something I've noticed. How do you feel about like, voiceless protagonist? Like the silent protagonist, the like one like uh, like Flyleth and like Fire Emblem, oh, where yeah. like everybody else has voice acting, but you, the protagonist, does not. Oh, um, <laughs> I I pretend to be them. That's, I love you playing like that because I do. Point. It's a self insert. Yeah, oh, no. like you self insert yourself, and it like makes nah, you feel like see, you're okay, part of it. When I played yeah. three houses for the first time, I literally for the first three chapters, I walked everywhere in the monastery because I was like, hmm, this is for the vibes. 
Yeah. Top three vibes. Three houses is great. That was like the first Fire Emblem game I really played, and I was like scared because I was like, "Am I really gonna like this?" But I really liked the like atmosphere of it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I was Did talking to somebody, it? and they were Did like, "I don't like." <sighs> I played a little bit of Engage. I just didn't like, like it. It was okay. It just like after going from three houses and like to that, it's like whenever you have like. A really good beer, and then you start drinking like cheap <laughs> beer. Wow, this is like such a great analogy. Okay. No, but it's like it's like once you're drunk, the cheap beer tastes good though. That's fair. Like it's like if you itch. turn off your brain with Engage, like yeah. genuinely, like it's really enjoyable if you kind of just shut your brain yeah. off a little well, bit. Then you have to turn it back on when you do the fights. I mean, not really if you're kind of just like all balls to the wall, just like, go! And if you but kill it, the, great! Shoot, who was the really cute girl with the like dark hair and she has like a star and she's a thief? And Yunaka. 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 Hiya, papa. Yunaka is my love. I stan Yunaka. And Yunaka in Holy this fucking house. Holy. My, my thoughts on it is like, I used to feel kind of the same way as you, Julian, is, but thinking about like, we just came off of three houses a, a bit more serious and stuff, like having something that's a little lower stakes, I thought was fine. Like the yeah. combat and the, the like the actual combat with the rings and stuff. Was... Yeah, that's how I feel. Especially after like how narratively dense and complex and deep three houses was. I was just like, yeah. I'm fine taking a step back to have a little silly adventure that's very more, mechanically more rich. Hey, I just was expecting yeah. something more in depth because it, I felt like it was like the next big Fire Emblem game. And then it kind of was like, oh, okay, like, you know, I'm gonna see that. chapter 10 of Engage. I swear to God. <laughs> oh, that one, yes. That no spoilers. So I have funny. <laughs> Please don't spoil it. I'm not going to play Engage for a while, but oh, I will no. probably play it at some point. It's oh, so shit. good. That'd be a fun it's, one to do as like a It's thing. so fun. That might actually be a really good one now that you mention it. But oh, we that are going to do Fates. We're doing Fates dub, next. Yeah. And I can say yeah. that we're doing Fates next because the strike ended, Ooh. so it's not struck anymore. But we're going to do Fates after this. So that oh. one's going to oh, be fire. It's that chapter. Oh, Fates, my beloved. Oh, Fates. I just. I personally just finished the Fel Xenolog because I was working through that and then somebody spoiled the entire plot of it, so I was just like, well, might as well finish it now. Yeah, oh. that's fair. But like, I okay, like, I gotta say, I finished Sacred Stones, like, a little bit ago. Sacred Stones owns, dude. You want a good Fire Emblem game. game? Sacred Stones owns, okay? It's my favorite Fire Emblem. I need I need to play it so oh. badly. Sacred Stones owns! It's my I oh wait, only good that's things. what fucked me up about fucking fates. That you cast me as Elise. <laughs> like, I was looking at the cast list, I was like, yeah, 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 I fuck with this, I fuck with What do you mean Ooh, you cast me as Elise? I need, look, I need to look at the cast list. <laughs> oh shit! I also need to look at the cast list. There's a cast list? Yeah, there's a cast list. I made one. Way back oh, cool. before it went on strike and then it got struck, so now we're playing Octopath. <laughs> oh, right. Where is it? Octopath goaded. Goated with the sauce. Okay, with the steal for there real. it is. Goated with the sauce. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's my first fail at stealing. So you know what? I'd say this is okay. Um, I can steal and nothing will be bad. Um, everything is fine because oh, I am amazing. fine. Good. I kind of fuck with these choices for me. <laughs> oh man, need more people to play Sacred Stone so I can yell at you about Seth Erica shipping. Yeah. Okay, so let's... Where is my mini-map for the town? What the fuck? Did it go? Did I turn it off? How do I... There's a, There should be a mini-map, shouldn't there? I don't think I recruited this one character, because I think they died when I played that route. Where the fuck is the mini-map? Laughs at playing in casual. <laughs> <laughs> I got to the point in Fates where I was just playing on Phoenix mode because I just didn't care. You're so real. <laughs> permadeath is like, if you want it, that's great. But like, I'm glad that there are options to remove permadeath. On God. That's Lucari nice, is yeah. Primrose. <gasps> oh, oh. Yeah. I, I mean, my nickname totally didn't give it away. Oh, no. Let's, oh I, I didn't notice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Are you? Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm using the controller, so. I, oh, there we go. There's the button. Okay, cool. Great. Problem solved. I'm not scared anymore. 
<laughs> Why is the screen green? I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> not afraid anymore. Oh, look who it is. Oh our, my god. Our resident player character. <laughs> At last. At last he's appeared before me. Ooh. The man marked with the crow. The man who killed my father. Her name is Primrose, and she is a dancer. This is Sunshade, city of a thousand pleasures, forever shrouded in shadow. Driven into poverty when her noble house fell, she now plies her trade in a tavern, suffering, suffering no end of indignities at the hands of the cruel Master Helganish. All for the day she could have her revenge. Then, one day he appeared, a man marked by the crow, one of the three foul villains who murdered her dear father. And so, aided by her sole friend Yusufa, she sprints from the tavern to the labyrinth below in pursuit. She will need loyal allies on the path she has chosen. Take Primrose along? Yeah. Hear the beginning of the tale? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Yeah. Your reputation improved. Yeah, Fuck yeah. yeah. I love my reputation. The Even when blade is held at your heart, faith shall be your shield. Words of house Azel heart. I hope I said that right. <laughs> you did. Cool. <laughs> Ten years ago. Oh, so this is me to start off. Cool. Funny how it works, isn't it? Everything that happens in this world falls into one of two neat little categories. Things one's better off knowing, and things one's better off not. Jeffrey Azelhart, I'm afraid you've been poking your nose into the ladder. Uh, Alex, you're Lord Jeffrey. I'm Lord Jeffrey. Yep, you're next on the. You're down the list. I have only done as my convictions bade me do. I have no regrets. This is Jillian. I thought you might say something like that. You're making this delightfully easy. Father. Oh shit. <laughs> Make sure he's dead, and let's leave this place before we're a scene. It's done. This is Brandon. Brandon. We can get one ellipses and then we'll move on. <laughs> Just it's, one. It's the inaugural ellipses. <laughs> Assuming he's here. Can we get a classic old anime effort from you, Brandon? Uh, close mouth. <clears throat> <laughs> Perfect. There's the anime voice actor at work. Yes. I'm glad you liked forget. it. <laughs> Three men, each marked with the sign of the crow. One on his left arm. One on his right. And the last on his neck. Three men. Foul scavengers, just like the bird whose mark they bear. They took my father from me. And I will never forget. I'm so excited! That your dad's dead? What the hell? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> My father is dead. Always the same dream. Get ready, everyone. If you don't have a higher <laughs> register, you're about to practice. Sigma. <laughs> Sigma got to play a kid. This is this should be nothing for him. I wish I had your confidence, Primrose. I couldn't imagine nodding off minutes before my cue. 
How nice it must be to be the master's favorite. Fine. Go on, keep your airs. Act as though you're better than the rest of us. I'm so glad I brought up mommy today. <laughs> it doesn't change the fact you're just another dancer in the sands, Primrose. <clears throat> Nothing but a kept woman here to flatter the dignity of men who pay for the privilege. I suppose you're right. Who's Yusufa? Yusufa. Yusufa. Who's Yusufa? I'm gonna I'm um, gonna executive authority and say it's Jillian here. I was gonna one. say you might want to put it to the <laughs> other female identifying in the chat. Yeah. Erin <laughs> would be on, but she's a very tired lady tonight and she needs her rest. She had a long day. Oh, hope you'll so. sleep. Sleepy girl. And uh, Alex, this one's you. Oh man. Enough chatter, Master Halganish is coming. And I guess this makes Helganish Brandon. <laughs> Do I keep you women to titter here in the shadows? My customers are waiting for their entertainment. Perfect. The opening act should be on this on that stage already. Now get out and earn your key. What a bunch of use, Drake. But not you, Primrose. You are the only one I can rely on. I want to punch you in the face. <laughs> good. <laughs> oh, it gets worse. Oh, I know. Perfect. Yeah, he's not a good person. Excellent. <laughs> you flatter me, Master. Oh, hardly. Why, this tavern's custom has increased tenfold since you stepped on our stage. Oh, I hate this. You're doing his voice incredibly well. <laughs> <laughs> but do not go forgetting. It was I who groomed you. <laughs> He's a groomer. He's a groomer. <laughs> okay, groomer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe something you shouldn't admit out loud. <laughs> 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 and I will be forever grateful for that, Master. You were an ignorant girl when I picked you up. Completely. I've taught you everything you know. Mm. Oh, you oh, shithead. Oh. What happened to your sweet little smile? Who puts a roof over your head? And food on your plate. Who bought the jewels that adorn your pretty neck? Who made the most sought-after dancer in this dusty old town? It was me. All me. You owe me, kitten. <laughs> and I'll see that debt repay. Yes, Master. Good then, purr sweetly, and I give you a ch- Don't dally when you're done with your show. I will be waiting in my chamber. I'll have you purr for me some more. Sigma, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Lou. No, no, no. Right. So, Rose, it's your cue. Yeah, so if you, the person's the main character on the route, we jump them uh, in the NPC list. Gotcha, that makes sense. Yep. Elganish Discord DMs have leaked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm coming. Put your face back on now. Yes, Master. Hel your voice for Helganish kind of sounds like that, um, the evil guy from, um, Princess and the Popper. Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're not <laughs> so! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. 
I didn't mean it, but it came out. <laughs> it works. It's, it's great. Perfect. He's iconic. It's okay. Yeah. The tavern lies at the end of the central road, just past the bazaar. I mustn't dally any longer. Ah, uh, we can dally a little bit, Primrose. None of that. None of that biz. You just gotta leave <laughs> town. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Primrose. We're, we're just... waiting. We're waiting for his twit longer. Don't worry. It'll, it'll it'll come out. These are the dancers' dormitories. Okay, cool. That's yeah. I love sunshade. The music is just the so music. Good. No, please. Yes. <laughs> okay, I can. I'll read it. I'll read it. Fine. I'll read it. <laughs> Alex is self conscious about his feminine no, voice. I'm self conscious after hearing feminine. Do you want me to go even higher? I can go even higher. <laughs> I'll go higher. I don't care. I'll do it. Do Fuck it. it. I've never been down there myself, but I hear the passage just past here leads out somewhere in the sands. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi! Welcome to Twitch.tv slash Voltage VO! Um, today we're playing the Sunshade Tavern in Octopath Traveler. Um, Alex, this one's you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Zerk in the chat. A 13th twit longer has hit the Helgen in. That's so Oh, no. <laughs> right, this tavern is Master Helgenish's pride and joy. He's particularly fond of the dancers, if you catch my meaning. Yeah, Princess Peach returns, <laughs> yeah. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah. Not that you would know anything Peaches, about Peaches, that. Peaches. <laughs> right? That was the Peach right? voice I did for uh, Paper Mario. Oh, oh my nice. god. Oh, oh look. This is comfy as fuck. Uh, Sigma, this is you. This way, Primrose. Gonna move on. Yeah. At least say please. Should we talk to all please. the patrons? All them dancers <laughs> and please. drinkers. Billy, eat this. Good food, good drink, and the dancing girls are easy on the eyes. If only the prices were a bit more reasonable. Lesbian that wants to spend less money. <laughs> <laughs> My god. Wait a while. You're so real. <laughs> so good <grim> for that. <laughs> uh, next up is Britain. <clears throat> I've come to rest my travel weary body for a while. No better place in the realm, I say. Hell yeah. Blue, be the wench. <laughs> <laughs> the dancing girls here put on quite a show. You bet. Those little whores. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're Damn, really bro. Trying, you're trying to get the out of context clip of the night, aren't you? <laughs> she works hard for the money, bro. <laughs> you're gonna like they're dancers. What can they say? Word around town is that the dancers here put on private shows for the master, if you know what I mean. It's heavily <laughs> implied. It's not just me. <laughs> I traveled across half the realm to visit this place. They say there's a girl here who dances like a goddess. Oh my god, say it again. Goddess. <laughs> they say this place turns away all but the wealthiest of customers after nightfall. This this Are music is excellent. Oh, this music is so good. <laughs> One sec. I was responding to is it. Is there a chest up there? Oh, there is a chest up there, isn't there? I should have done. Oh well. Oh well. I'll never get it ever again. Yeah, it's gone now, see? Yep. Never. Kept the us one waiting long enough thing you have. Rose. I fucked up. I was fixing my hair. Yeah, sure. Tell yourself that. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh. <laughs> God damn. It better have been worth it. You're our best chance of getting to eat tonight. And the customers have been waiting. Is this going to give Damn. me like some Final Fantasy VII remake bullshit where I have to dance <laughs> to the rhythm and press buttons or some shit? I wish. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I wish. love rhythm dancing games. They're fun. They're fun. Let the show begin. It's her! It's her. It's her! It's her! It's her! It's her! Who is it? It's her! Oh it is Dea! 
Oh, she. Watch over me, father. That day, I swore revenge against the men who took you from me. The three marked by the crow. My once proud house fallen. I left home far behind following their trail. That trail has led me here. I heard one of them often passes through here on his travels. It was the smallest scrap of hope, but it was all I had. Until I find him, there is no disgrace I will not endure. Losing my honor is nothing compared to the pain of losing you. Father, I will not stop until I find the three and see justice served. And until I avenge you, I will dance. She's just like me for real. <laughs> She's just like me for real. <laughs> that Primrose voice is so good. <laughs> Was Primrose voiced by like Allegra Clark? Laura Post. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, damn. Uh, who was the last NPC? I already lost track. I think it was Brenton? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, Sigma, say it. Say the line, Sigma. I think I'm in love. Uh, how about a private show, darling? You are all too kind. And too handsome, I might add. Ah, another night, huh? Maybe. Uh, I bet you say that to all the guests. <laughs> not bad, Primrose. Not bad. Now I might be able to eat. <laughs> not, not bad, Primrose. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Look at your sandals. Seem you've gone and broken a strap. You know Helganish won't let us eat after that. <laughs> Go back to the dormitory and fetch yourself another pair before Helganish sees. He does like looking at her feet in those. <laughs> oh my god. God. Helganish is a feet guy, confirmed. Oh boy. Cannon. Oh, most happily. Oh. Uh, we have fun here. Find Primrose on Feet Finder. Let me see those toe oh, grippers, my lady. <laughs> said no disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> ah, a healing grape. Just what I need to squish between her big toe and her second toe. Oh my toe. god, oh, please oh, don't. Uh, <laughs> thank god every day for making me not a f- <laughs> It's real. <laughs> real. Real. I know it's unintentional, Brandon, but you keep getting cut off. <laughs> so, All here is thank god for not making me a f- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Oh my god. We'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never know. We'll never ever know. That's so crazy. Me? No. Wow. We'll never. Am I getting nah. cut out now? Is it, does it sound any better? You sound you sound fine. It's just like every once in a while a word just gets cut off. Okay. <laughs> it's all good though. Um Alright, then uh after Sigma, it's me and I already read, so Alex is the little girl. Fuck! Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Papa, I'm going to be in a play. Jillian. I will be the princess right. and everyone will look at me. I'm still the girl. I'm not the girl. I'm Papa. <laughs> yeah, you'll come and watch too, won't you? <laughs> I'm Papa. I like to mix up ginger rolls here. Of course, my dear. It's like Shakespeare. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> Wait, what the? Right, many She's thanks, wrong. my lord. <laughs> How was that? And guess what, Papa? When I grow up, I'm gonna be a big, beautiful dancing girl, the star of the stage. Oh no. A <sighs> uh, dancing girl. That's a dream best forgotten. Why, Papa? Ugh. Helena, my dear. You want to grow up to be a fine lady, yes? Like the princess you will play? Then it would be better not to say such things. Not in this town, at least. But, but what's wrong with dancing? It's so much fun! And look at her! She's... she's beautiful! Hello, child. 
Come on, Helena. This way. I'll tuck you into bed back at the end. Papa has a business to attend to this night. Yeah, he does. Oh no, Papa, <laughs> what are you oh, doing? Oh no! <laughs> Oh no, he really. Oh, oh he's no. like, like, ew! Ah, jeez. I suppose I should get back to my own work. They don't deserve you, Queen. No one deserves Primrose, DBH. No. <laughs> she was the first person that I played with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ow! Thorn. Oh, someone fetch a handkerchief. Primo seems to be bleeding, the poor dear. Perhaps she got a blister? Oh, she's always dancing oh so passionately. <laughs> Are you all right, Prim? I'm fine. It's nothing I haven't dealt with before. Don't you think that's enough already? Do you take such pleasure in others' pain? We're nothing but the master's playthings. All of us. Go off, queen. And we know what happens to girls who displease him. Or have you forgotten? Go off. Beaten half to death and tossed in the gutter. Left for dead, sick, and starving. I love that game. So stop that! We all know well enough where we stand. We know what he can do to us. Then why torment one of our own? Thank you, Yusufa. But there's no need for you to make foes on my behalf. Rem. What are you doing yowling back there? Sheathe your claws! It's time for work! Or do you think money flows into my coffers by itself? Get out there and collect your tips! Not you, Primrose. You stay. I hated the way you delivered that! <laughs> <laughs> oh. What was that sorry show you gave today? Do you think I'm blind? One glance was all I needed to know your mind was not where it ought to be. I can see every thought in that pretty, empty little head of yours. And they were not of dancing tonight. You haven't forgotten your depths now, have you? You haven't forgotten who owns you? You know the fate that awaits you if you dare defy me. Don't you, kitten? I'm warning you because I care, Primrose. I wouldn't want to see anything untoward happen to my shining star. I'm sorry, Master. Forgive me. I was simply remembering the first day I came here to you. Oh, where are you now? Not a day, not a moment passes when I am not thankful for all you have given me. Pray forgive my lack of focus today, Master. It will not happen again. Oh, my dear, dear Primrose. I, too, often think back on the day you came to my door. Just imagining the sight of you dancing for me, as sweet and innocent as you were, it tickled me so. And you met my every expectation. You have been my best investment. But tonight, you have dis But tonight, you have displeased me. And for this, you must atone. 
The crowd is looking thin tonight. Out on the streets with you and bring us some more custom. Custom with coin enough to cover a week's expenses. If you can do that, I may still go easy on you. At least, relatively so, kitten. You are kind, master. I like doing that. <laughs> Make me feel gross too. <laughs> do you need a toothbrush so you can brush your tongue yeah. off after that? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> nice. Bravo, Param. That was a performance for the ages. How do you do it? I want to vomit every time I have to call him master. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be out collecting tips? I was worried about you. How is your foot? What? Oh, it's amazing. Here, use this. <laughs> Fucking hell, Britain. You? <laughs> A handkerchief? I'll allow it. <laughs> Be careful out there, okay? Okay. Ah, path action. What does Primrose do? She she allures people, of course. Oh my god, Twirl's finger, hello! Do I attempt to- when a to... bad bitch tells me to do something? <laughs> Admit it now. Wouldn't you care to spend a little more time with me? That's our Primrose, I'll keep you safe, girl. Pray, come hither. What? Wait, huh? Okay. So remember how I told you how Primrose can basically summon an extra party member? Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The seduction at its work. But you can only do it on men, I'm pretty sure. Literally or no, 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 you can do it on women. Tells me to do something. No, you can do it on uh, women, but like most of the see time. See ya. Inclusion. See ya, stinker. If you don't need anything else from me, I'll be heading back. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, let's... Oh, I can't allure you. I think Rip. it has something to do with, like, level, like, reputation level or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, time to put on a different kind of show. This one looks to be the likely sort. Lovely evening, isn't it, my lord? Mayhap you'd care to share it with me? Is this someone important? No. no. Do we have a name for them already? No. Okay. Uh, who was next on that list? Was it Alex, I think it was? No. Jillian, Alex, Brandon. <laughs> Tempting offer, but I travel on business. I must depart early on the morrow. Hmm. It must be a fascinating sort of business that you do. Perhaps you could tell me more over a drink. I'd love to get to know you better. I... I am most afraid I, I cannot. I dance at the tavern just down the street. Might be happy to put on a show. Just for you. Wowzers! Wow, an RPG that lets me do this? <laughs> Where wow. have you been all my life? Fucking, fucking Brandon, why did you make me think of that one meme where it was like, oh, just send a guy my boobs, and he said, he replied saying, yippee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I went to my boyfriend. <laughs> I'm going to buy some stuff with the money that I was supposed to spend on dinner tonight. That's okay. Sometimes Everyone you just need starve. an herb of awakening. Sometimes they just need an injurious seed, you know. Yeah, oh, one of them is like a Viagra oh. seed. Ew. <laughs> that's, I don't get that's it. That's Helganish. No. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Uh, uh, Hey babe, can you come over to my place and look at you? Shut up! <laughs> Make me up. No. <laughs> oh yeah, I can run. I forgot about that. 
I imagine that must be like kind of painful with like the one sandal, but yeah. She's built for less. True. Yeah. She's a I'll survive after one nut. <laughs> on one nut. Wait. Oh, really, <laughs> woman. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> one nut. What? <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, we're talking a lot about everyone in this <laughs> session of Octopath. It's, it's called gaming, okay? I mean, like, it's it, there's you can game the system, you can game the call, you can game the love life. I mean, you can do a lot of things gaming. I think gamers are some of the coolest people on the planet because they just know how to do fucking anything and everything, okay? Yeah. We're like, uh, what's the word? Uh, fucking... Epic? Fuck. <laughs> no, like the fucking master of none. Uh, Jack of all trades. All Thank trades. you. There we go. Ah, oh, dang it. No, I don't want no. to. No, no, King, you gotta stay strong. <laughs> I got the old lady. I don't need you. I got the old lady. Fine. All right, but is the old lady gonna give up the coin? Oh, I want pointed shot primrose. Pointed shot primrose. A minute now. Wouldn't you care to spend a little more time with me? Oh, uh, oh my, I, I cannot resist such beauty. Bottom activity. <laughs> <laughs> me when a bad bitch tells me to do something. <laughs> oh, shit, that's all you had to say. <laughs> oh, there, there we yeah, go. There, there you go. Problem solved. That would be me if Primrose came up to me, I guarantee you. <laughs> <laughs> well, wouldn't you know no, she did? Oh, God. That one's- that character is actually just Brandon's <clears throat> self-insert NPC. Yes, that one's pockets look sufficiently clean. Good work, kitten. You will be treated well tonight. You honor me, master. The seats are starting to fill. See that not a single cup goes empty. As you wish. Master. I hope we get to beat the tar out of him up on oh, that stage. Oh man, you oh. are. No, you have no nobody idea. say anything. Nobody say. Nobody tell him anything. The single <laughs> best <laughs> line in any jail. Everyone, know. shut up. <laughs> Good he doesn't evening, know, gentlemen. Chad. He doesn't know. <laughs> Does he know? Uh, Sigma. Ah, Primrose, you're looking more and more lovely each time I see you. It's been a while since we last enjoyed your company. Will you be with us long this evening? <laughs> as long as you'll have me, my dear. Is that so? I'll have to give it some thought then. I'll see you again later. And if that's all, I'll be taking my leave. <laughs> Could it be? Oh yeah, it was Lefty. Cool. There. On his left arm. That is me. Okay, great. Never mind. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect timing. Yeah. The mark of the crawl. How long have I waited for this day? Finally, you appear before me. This night, at long last, justice will be served. Kill him. Can't move, I'm stuck. <clears throat> no! I can't let him get away. When, where do you think you're going? So curious about that man, are you? Was it love at first sight, kitten? Master. You wouldn't think of abandoning the stage and your customers before the night is through, now would you? Back to work, Primrose. I trust I don't need to repeat myself. You do remember what happens to the wicked little kittens who mess across me, don't you? This is 
all I have. I may never get another chance like this again. Oops, yeah. I'm not paying attention. You're I good. apologize. You're good. Prim, what's the matter? It's not like you to look all flustered like this. You don't need to tell me. For you to risk angering the master like that, it must be something important. <clears throat> Leave it to me. I'll keep his eyes busy. You slip out the back door on the upper floor. You shouldn't get yourself involved. You'll put yourself at risk. Look, Prim, maybe you don't tell me what you're thinking. But that doesn't matter to me. I'm on your side, and always will be. On my side? When the other girls would pick on me and tell me to know my place, you were always the one who, the only one who stood by me. You never say much. You're always so distant, aloof even. But I know you don't just don't want to burden the others with your troubles. I know you better than you think, Prim. And I know that deep down you have a good heart. A good heart? Yusufa. I... Thank you. <laughs> Always a woman of few words. I wouldn't have it any other way. Yusufa sounds like the start of fucking sexy. What? You so what? fucking sexy. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 fucking uh, weeball. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to kill this guy. No, oh, that's okay. Oh. <laughs> you will bring the women I need, won't you now? Competent help is so hard to come by these days. Ever is a man to do. I can assure you, my lord, I'm doing all that I can. Helganish, we are friends, are we not? Friends take care of one another, yes? They do not disappoint each other. I will do everything in my power. I saw a fine dancing girl in the tavern. I would rather like such a girl for my own. So it is as I thought. Helganish knows him. Bring the woman to the place marked on this map. And, Helganish, try not to keep me waiting. But of course, my lord. That map. You missed it. Oh, there she goes. Fuck it, we ball. What a dumbass. Fuck it, we ball. And so I must pursue the foul crow. Don't get involved. This is my problem, not yours. Nah, this is our problem. But I suppose you're free to do as you please. Come on already if you're coming. Oh, I'm coming, all right. Uh, I really. Uh, I was waiting for someone to say You got there before say, I did. Uh, you got there before I did. I'm fastest zinger in the West. <laughs> you guys. Ah. So you know those small lines they put when they don't have any voice. Uh, they don't have them voice the full line. Yeah. What about them? Sunshade catacombs. Danger level four. I fucking adore this song. This game's really good. This game smells like roses. Primroses? Yes. 
Oh, oh shit. Oh. I fucking oh. love the violin in that song, God. That's, that's definitely not violin. I love you, Whatever. but that's not I don't violin. Know I don't know instruments. Uh, yeah. A violin adjacent. And it, and it fucking it, it, shows. It's probably a viola. Adjacent. It's a string like instrument cello. of some variation. Is there a fucking armory? Yeah, the armory's over here. I want to get some... I want to get some biz now that, you know, we uh, did everything. Um, yes. We now have my two favorite travelers in the party. Who? Take a wild guess. Alfin and the old lady. Well, I do like me a good old lady, but not Alfin. Aw, <laughs> uh, Alfin's my Alfin's best boy. I, I really like Therian and Primrose. Therian's pretty cool too. Therian's, like Therian's cool. Boy. I I I did Primrose, and then I think I got Therian second. So. Oh, wait. Did you skip just... Alfin? Yeah. Because you had to Alfin. like go around. <laughs> Yeah. No. Maybe I did two off in seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. I did a word. I, I don't know. I like all of them. I didn't do a lot of the Ophelia though, honestly. We're, we're putting the really fur robe on, on Primrose. She's wearing a fur robe now. Oh my god. Damn. Uh, buy me put Prada. That, put that shit on though. Balenciaga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, I'm trying to figure out like. What best is- I mainly just want to make sure that, like, people have, like, enough shit in the dungeon where it's not gonna be like, Ah, oh, you didn't buy any equipment for your party and you went into the dungeon? Oh, Shane, thank you for subbing at tier 1 for 22 months. Does Barry Manilow know you raided his wardrobe? Ah, uh, you know, me and Barry Manilow go way back. And, uh, he was oh my god, do they call it- I don't it... know if you do. Why do they call it dungeon when you dunge out the hot food? <laughs> because dungeon. if you dunge in the in cold- the Oh, if you dunge on the cold food, then out dunge <laughs> out the hot. But otherwise, you have to cold <laughs> hot food dunge in. You know what I mean? Man, I saw that one like soar through the air and crash and burn in real time. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. President, a second bad joke has hit a tower. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> no, <laughs> we're done. Primrose, Jim. I love it when you wear the Balenciaga. <laughs> I want those Balenciagas. <laughs> All right, let's do that. This is the most interesting part of stream is where Voltage figures out how to menu properly. Um, I will warn you that like the the scaling in this game is weird. Like you're gonna get to the the second chapter for everybody, and it's gonna be like a huge difficulty. Oh I'm no, so he already ready. knows. Okay, he good. already knows. I'm so we, we ready. We peaked at Therion's chapter two, and it's like, it's like recommended level, 20. level twenty-two. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. My plan for for those of you who are curious, um, is to go around the world map like so, and then once we get to here, odds are we'll probably be ready for this one. Yeah, that's about right. I feel like that's kind of the intended way to do it too, because like no Back. matter where you start, you can just go clockwise or counterclockwise anyway and find anything. And then odds are you got probably a chapter or two over here, probably a chapter or two up here. You know, probably goes up a ways. Like, it's it, this is very Dungeons and Dragonsy. You know what I mean? Where I guess Dungeons and Dragons is an RPG, but like the map design is clearly designed in such a way where like if you get enough party members and progress the game naturally, you'll be at a point where you're at probably like level twenty, and you'll be like here, and then it's like oh, if I wanted to, I could go over here, but maybe. I should spend getting get every party member up to level twenty, and then I can go and do chapter two of the first one I chose. Exactly. Yeah. I. Yeah, I it, it's yeah. like a little ring, the first chapter. So it's it's really cool that way, that way. Yeah, I've been trying to be very conscientious about ways games are designed and the ways that like they sort of naturally tell us how to play them, and that's one of those that like I feel that it's very obviously done with Octopath, where every chapter. At least this first one sort of starts and puts you in a town, and there's a dungeon right next to the town. And uh, that's, like, what they want you to do, and that's chapter one. And so far, I have not been wrong, and I don't think I'm going to be wrong for a while. Is the game good? I like the game so far. It's fun. I've had, I've had more... I've had some negative experiences with, like, opening hours of JRPGs before, and luckily, that does not seem to be the case right now. And it's especially fun, because now we're in the dungeon, and we can just talk about whatever the hell we want to talk about, because it's just dungeon crawling. I have a lot to say later on, but... Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> Besides that, but Laura, like the this game's English dub, like has very firm like hold on me from like 2018 when I first played it. Laura Post especially, her primos is like lives rent free and started the trend of me loving every Laura Post character that exists. She's one of my <laughs> inspirations for a reason. So it's like, oh, I'm so excited for what's to come with Am her. I doing myself a disservice? Not, not that like anything is bad against you all or doing this, but am I doing myself a disservice by not experiencing the original dub of this game? No. No. I don't it's very so. good. It is a very good dub. I believe um, that. You always listen to it. When yeah, you're you can literally. Off stream. That's yeah. true. Assuming I'm going to grind off stream. I yeah. might. Yeah. I'm, I pre know. I'm pretty <laughs> sure like, this voltage. game gives you the option to watch cutscenes again. Does oh, it? That's good. I think, I, well, I think journal... when we were going back to the journal to get the quest, yeah. I think you can. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's smart. I, I think in the journal it can do that. I'm, I might pop on the game later because, fuck, there's so many, like, end chapter cutscenes that I'm like, oh, this, this went so hard. Interesting. Because I feel like, I feel like, you know, this is one of those games that it seems like if you want to learn how to do, like, good voice performances by listening and experiencing, this is probably one of those games, if I had oh, to Oh, 100%. Guess. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, Completely. 100%. Because there are certain games, like, obviously, I like listening to, like, audio dramas and podcasts and doing all this other stuff, and what the fuck is that? Um, <laughs> yeah, or JRPG, anyway. Um, you know, I mean, like, there's... Okay. It's a light wisp. You're a light wisp. <laughs> what did you just call me? A light wisp. It's, it's, yeah. But, I mean, like, I, I feel like, I feel like there's, you. um... This is probably one of those games where it's, like got some pretty good dub moments if I had to guess. Yes. Yes. I, I will send you a scene after stream for you to watch, specifically. I like Alfin stuff voice a lot. Al Alfin is, is really good. Uh, but it's Greg Alfin Chun. It's of course it's gonna yeah. be good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. It is Greg Chun. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it is the man, the man. Our, the our guy, I Kaname Date, baby. <laughs> I, uh, I gotta say, I really do enjoy a lot of, like, the dubs of the modern RPGs eras these days. Like, they're good. They're really good. They are. And, like, ugh, I just gotta say, like, you know, it's it's just very inspiring. It's very motivating. It, uh, keeps me going, you know? And, like, again, I'm not... These days, it's tricky for me to do as many auditions as I used to do, right? And... It's one of my goals for 2024 to just, like, hold myself to do, like, at least two auditions a week, no matter what. And, like, I know that seems low to some people, but, like, straight straight up, like, my schedule does not allow for it a lot of the time. Or I come home and I'm, like, just not in a space where I can perform in a way where it's, like, going to take the time that it takes to do. I know that sounds like an excuse. It kind of is. I did. But, like, at the same time... That shit takes a lot of time, and I'd rather put my like best foot forward. You know what I mean? Putting in the effort at all is is commendable in its own right, man. Yeah. I just want to do it right. I want to. I want to be in like this cool fucking game and stuff. Oh, what the heck? What happened? Oh, Captain Hugehead, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate ya. I think God. we're like 15. I'm like 15 followers oh, away from 400. No, 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 no. It was, uh, it was, who said it? Uh, it was Zerk. The level four boost lines. Oh, yeah. When you get a full boost on a character, those are always badass. Oh, hell yeah. I'll have to yeah. listen to those. Are they like these, like, you're going down? Like, like create, kind of like, yeah, based on that level. Yeah. Awesome. Therion's My badass. focus is unparalleled. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, Cyrus is amazing too. I like Cyrus a lot. Hold on. I'm really excited to hear Alex as Cyrus. Too bad it's through the fucking. Oh, man. Cyrus is the nerdy motherfucker, isn't he? Yes. That'll what be if, fun. What if I uh... I think actually behind Alfin Cyrus is my second favorite. <laughs> I don't like Cyrus. <laughs> He's just I like a dumbass. He's I just think great. that is like I think that is like in town ability. She's kinda lame. Mm, I do like Therion for the ability to steal. Sand Lizardman 2. What, what makes him different? Like, they're both weak to the thing. Like, whatever. You know what? He's just, he's just a little chalky. He's just a little different. It's okay. You should have studied harder. Oh, damn. What if I, uh, what if I improvised a, a nice, cool line right now? I'll turn down my gain even. Ready? Here we go. I'm 
gonna slash you to pieces! <laughs> hey, hey. Now do it in your woman voice. Okay, uh, hang on. I'll, I'll do a, I'll do the one for Primrose in the woman voice. How's that sound? Oh my God. Here we go, ready? Tur turning down the game, here we go, ready? Adios. I'm gonna slash you to pieces! <laughs> I love the slight southern at the end. <laughs> Adios! Kill you, rat toad. Yeah. <laughs> and your toad? toad. I straight up got toad? cast on your toad voice. now. <laughs> I got cast on a toad voice <laughs> for a thing for a YouTube video. It's like, wow, you're so cool and fun. I can't believe it. Oh God, who are you? Hello. Ah, traveling peddler. Just what I need. I have. I'm gonna get another olive of life. I what are you doing in this crazy dungeon? What what are you doing here? You there's doing in this there's no market place. for you here. Local Damn, you doing in here? <laughs> That's like a dorkly comic. It's like yeah. <laughs> what the, shopkeeper? What are you doing in the basement of the catacombs? I don't know. I just thought I could sell something to some unassuming octopathian like travelers. It's like Kecleon's shop. Yeah. Techleon. Well, like, he won't kill you for trying to steal from him. Oh shit, you're right. What if, <laughs> what if, uh, what's his, what if Therian, but in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Bro, I would shit my pants. I would be terrified for my life. Kecleon, Kecleon will just summon, like, Dialga and just fucking stomp you bitches. It's so over for you. <laughs> you, steal an you steal an apple and then your whole life is over. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfuckers steal one apple and get scared for their life. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Oh my god. I need to go back and play like, the older Mystery Dungeon games. They're so good. But also, wa watching you guys uh, stream last week was literally itching me to go back to like playing like Gates to Infinity you and like Super. No, Gates to Infinity is not a good game. I'm gonna be real. Re I, bro, I cried like a bitch at the end of Gates to Infinity. I, if you oh, cried I like a bitch at the end of Gates to Infinity, you gotta play the original ones. Oh man. And, and I say this yeah. like with as much respect as I can, mm. Gates to Infinity does not hold a candle to the endings of like the original two. Of, uh, I, I would believe it, like, you. No, I, I, I know blue a lot red of people like Explorers Mobile. Explorers of Sky and Explorers of uh, Time. Blue and red is red that I played. Time yeah, I played sky. Blue. I had like the DS case for Blue actually. I heard oh, yes. I heard uh, the the second one, the Diamond and Pearl ones. Those, yes. those were like the best ones. Yes, yeah, they Explorers are. is amazing. Yes, we uh, we did. So that was where the live dubs on my Twitch channel started. Was that like initially it was like Ace Attorney and I was just doing it right. But like the first one that we started on this channel was the Mystery Dungeon ones, and um, so we live dubbed them and then they turned a little like parody-esque and then everything just went off the rails and it's been yeah. fun and we just finished the post game on saturday like the entirety of the story is finished now so Dude. we are that is officially in the books which is a a fun way to cap off uh, like a series after three years i gotta say so i really have fun with it and it I wanted to watch the finale. I, what was I even doing Saturday? <laughs> what were you doing? Not being a loyal viewer of twitch.tv slash voltage bo. Damn, bro. It's no bueno, dude. I was dying yeah. in Columbia research. <laughs> I was yes. dying in Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I felt wait, so bad because you texted this. me and I'm like, fuck. Fuck. I forgot it was Saturday. I swear to God, I, I've been like so out of it. I finally... Fucking, I'm strictly on finals starting the rest of this week and on to next week, and then by Monday I'm done. Oh, I'm hell just, yeah. Uh, 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 Are you done, done? Are you graduating? Huh? Are you done, done? Are you graduating? Oh, no, no, no. I have, uh, technically, this upcoming semester will be my last academic semester unless I can get an internship. So mm. I'm either graduating in May or graduating in December, but by the end of May, I'll be done academically. Nice. Until you go and get your master's, right? <laughs> master! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You're so funny! Fuck that! Imagine going to school after you finish school, after you finish school. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Me? Like no, now I just have- either. Now my, my- now my school's just my job. Now I'm the one grading homeworks. 
Straight Isn't it up fun when school shirt? when you get paid to go to school? Oh, I love that actually. That's elderly scary. woman. Oh hell yeah! Take her out. Let's go, elderly woman. Attack! I summon yeah. elderly woman. <laughs> elderly mode. woman attack! I summon the elderly. <laughs> Imagine if there were a Yu-Gi-Oh card that was just like old man with gun. There, there probably is some in the. Like that's hey, gotta be a, a magic sec, card or something. Sec. That's like elemental like... hero pistol man. Let me whip it up. Hang on. Whip it up or whip it out? <laughs> well, why Come not? On. Yeah. Anyway. Whoa! What the <laughs> fuck? Oh, that's dope. She just attacked four. Th that goes hard. I'm, I, I'm very like. The, the amount of just whoa moments on stream from this game that I'm having is splendid. I gotta say that. It's like this game was built for you to stream it, Voltage. It's pretty it's like, good. Wait. It's pretty good. I will say, I definitely feel like I want to stream Live Alive at some point in this sort of oh, mode. God. That would be fun. Oh, and I it's. I love Live Alive. Oh, I just finished Live Alive before this. Like, not to, not to take you out of the moment, but uh -huh. like. Oh, baby, I finished Live Alive, and it's a... That's a good-ass game. It's a good-ass game, and you know Chrono how it's Trigger, a good-ass game? And that style, man, would be my game of, of forever. There's a there's a cowboy chapter where you play as a cowboy. Yeah. Yeehaw. Yeah. And you, and you, you ride a horse and you shoot a gun. <laughs> I love that. Um, that's a good-ass game. Don't, don't start that big. Good. No, go for it. Did you save? Did you don't save? Save? Did you yeah. save? Yes, I fucking saved. I'll save again. Look, watch. You always have to save Now watch twice. me save. Yeah. Now watch me save again. 420? Oh, uh, not 420. Uh, uh, here we go. Uh, you I'm finished glad the we're, SNES we're original both, before they finished we're both, the original. We're both the ones doing this, yes. Lou. I'm very glad. <laughs> uh, you know what? I will tolerate the backseat gaming on this game in particular because there is, like, so much can go wrong in a JRPG <laughs> like this. That like I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not in fights, but like get... in this in this event. Anyway. Yeah. And pick us up. He's going to get away. I won't let that happen. And where might you be off to, kitten? <laughs> in who? Master Helgenesh. Whatever are you doing here at this hour? Funny you should ask. A worthless little stray, this one. But she was kind enough to help me catch a rat. Yusufa! Oh shit, sorry, that is me. Prim, I'm... I'm sorry. She was quite intent on keeping her mouth shut. But my boys helped her get it open. Oh no. It seems I was too lenient with the girl. I won't make that mistake again. No! Yusufa! Barham, I've never heard you shout so. This is no time to. Hey, Prim. Or. As. Aren't we? What? I. I was sold to this place as a child everyone was so cruel so miserable I thought I'd oh it was lonely having no one but you Prim you were different always standing tall proud no matter how hard your day Looking at you, it gave me strength. Yusuf. Tell me, Prim. 
were we? Were we friends? Yes, Yusufa. You were my friend. I'm so happy. Not alone anymore. Is it finally over? I must say, at least her last performance had some life. If she'd shown that sort of potential earlier, I might have kept her on longer. I hope this dude dreams of Priscilla tonight. Enough. What was that? I have danced enough for you. This was the last night that I belonged to you. Oh, was it now? So some wheels do turn in that pretty little head of yours. Here I thought it a waste as empty as the desert. I saw you. For the foul swine you are, the first time I laid eyes on you. You would take that tone with me! You're nothing but a stupid whore! You would have died on the street if not for me! You have given me nothing. I have always danced on my own two feet. I have always chosen where I step. Who do you think you're speaking to, whore? All these years. The cheers, the beatings, the dishonor. I endured it all. All for this day. The day that man appeared before me. I need your stage no longer. I dance for myself now. Primrose! You forget yourself, little kitten. But I understand. This is just your little show, yes? You wanted to see your master frown. Fine! Very well, you've had your fun! That naughty mouth of yours belongs to me. Put it where it belongs. And if you please me to you are, and if you please me to my satisfaction, I will overlook your impertinence. Master. Go pleasure yourself. Let's fucking go! <laughs> Best line in any JRPG, bro. <clears throat> Wrong answer, kitten. You know what I do with cats that bite, don't you? I put them down. Just like that one. It's a shame, Primrose. You were always my favorite. What a waste. Yes, a terrible, terrible shame! The only shame... ...is that I could not do this sooner, Master! Oh, shit. Oh, what is this dude? This... <laughs> Humpty Dumpty oh looking God. ass. He's fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Red nose ass wine holding in hand, reclining in the chair ass mother. Mario looking motherfucker. It's more Helganish's lackey. Okay, we got a poison on it. That's good at least. Oh my god. Go pleasure yourself. I saw your I, I oh, heard your that little was great. Cast. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo. So hard, man. I love it. Oh, Bro, that's... that fucking line, Laura delivers it like so so venomously, it's so fucking good. Oh my god. It's like, man, I know I'm gonna like explain the joke here, but like the fact that they got a go fuck yourself. Yes. In a yeah. way that yeah. was like, 
you know, still game's, contextually game's really relevant. Good, oh! Oh! See, I'm playing this one before I play Octopath Traveler 2 because I've heard 2 is even better than 1. And I've really? Heard, I've heard the only reason that, like, 1 isn't that great is because the character's stories don't necessarily depend on the other units. They, they don't intersect or anything, though. No. Mm. Which is yeah. like, in, in the context of stream, honestly, that's okay. Because it makes my streaming system, the way I have it, actually really easy. The way I've always thought of it is that the developers want you to, like, fill in the, the own, your own pieces with how they interact. Mm, I just because it is just that open-ended. Let's try, uh, let's attack Helganish. Sure, why not? With dark magic? Yeah, okay, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <coughs> that did nothing. Hmm. Oh, fuck. No, no your place. Ah, shit. I do not like that. Okay, I gotta start actually thinking now. Um, okay, let's see. Who's... Time to play the game, fuckboy! Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, yeah, Primrose has the lowest HP at this point, so I feel like healing her is smart in the sense that, like, the other two can at least take some hits, because, like, where Therian's at right now is a third of what Primrose is, so that's fine with me. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to attack with the sword on Halganish. Just to see if that does any damage. Okay, he's not weak to that. Shit. Part of me feels like I should try to take out his lackeys beforehand, but at the same time, I'm not sure. But, Theory oh, needs you. The music. Oh, it's. Okay, so they are weak to sword at the very least. Okay, this is good. Um, what I'm gonna do next. Is moon white, moon white wall. So I'm gonna moon white wall. Moon white the wall. I'm gonna break that. That's Whoa. good. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this, and I'm going to uh, HP thief on Hal Helganish. Okay, good. He's weak to that. That's great. You bastard! How dare you steal my HP? I needed that. <laughs> It's like these 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 uh fights are kind of like puzzles too, which I really like. Um, just because they are, you know, you you have to try stuff, and they reward you for trying. You know, yeah, it's, that to me it's is never really as good. simple. It's never as simple as just like hitting it over and over until it dies. Yes, and I really value that, just because like there are some JRPGs where like don't get me wrong, they are fun, but like it's dominant strategy, and you know it's just really good right from the start. No, oh, like, I'm more, like, you've heard the warnings, Octopath will force you to get creative. Yes. And oh, yeah. I, I yes. like that, honestly. <laughs> I think that a game that makes me consider every single part of my units' movesets is good. Okay, so because he's angry, what I should do is just, like, fuck him up. Fuck him up! I'm gonna see if I can break him. Because if I can break him, that's gonna be good. Okay, that ow, does ow, not break ow, him. Ow. Never mind. Okay. We are now going to go immediately on the defensive, I think. Yeah, so do the defend action. Yes. Yes. I hope this is one of those games where like defending actually does something useful. No, defending is super useful because you get a a, a a turn for it. Oh, fuck yeah. yes. When you defend, you you move to the front of the line. In the oh, turn that's order. really good. Okay, now I completely understand how the Bravely Default devs were, like, yeah. totally on this. Okay. Um, okay, cool. We can make this work. We're gonna break Helganish. So good. That is, that is, that is what like the strategy those, in this game um, is. People from World of Warcraft. The little, little... You know what I'm talking about. I've actually never played World of Warcraft, I don't. There, it's in Hearthstone, that? that's the only reason I know it. <laughs> and also in Magic. I wonder, okay, the thing is, I'm gonna max out, I'm gonna try using ice, and if I'm wrong, I'm gonna look like a big fool, but you know what? Big risks, big rewards, right? Holy shit. Big money. Oh no, I'm glowing red! Uh... Okay, now what I wanna do is I'm gonna defend. And then I'm gonna try a, a, a steel thing here in just a sec. But 
What I am going to do too... Hmm... I'm going to do a lion dance on Alfin because I want him to charge. Or I want him to be able to do the uh, the big attack. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, what, what am I gonna do? Yeah, Alfin, dear Zef, I've made such honorable friends so far. I've met this guy named Therian who just has so much stuff. I don't know where he gets it all from. And I've met Primrose, a dancer. I don't know what kind though. She says I'm too innocent. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta get you Alfin, on Bravely Default. Alfin just wants to help his buddies. He doesn't know yeah. what they're about. Alfin's a good dude who didn't know better. <laughs> Literally, he's like, you go straight to Theria and he's like, Hey, man, help me break into this mansion. Cool, I'll do it. Um, yeah, why not? Let's commit some crimes. You need to go breaking into a mansion? Oh, oh. Have you ever, like, gone into an abandoned building before? No, never. I, I can't say I have, but I'm down to yeah. help. Oh, fuck. I'll try anything once. <laughs> I will try anything more than once. <laughs> Like, uh, oh, no. I've definitely gone into, like, an abandoned mill before. That is so you. That makes so too much sense. How is that so me? Because like, you're a Midwestern just... boy. <laughs> I mean, Jill said it, not me. Look, it was in Minneapolis, and it's, like, a, it's, like, a full of homeless people. In, in the nicest way. Like, oh, he's trembling with anger, huh? There's a, um... Abandoned asylum where I'm from. Oh, really? Like a lot of people would go in and do graffiti and like skate around there. Yeah. Yeah. I never. That's a little. That's five spooky for me. So. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, like it was a place like if you broke into it, you could like just romp around. But like, there's not necessarily anything for you to do in there. You know. It's just like, oh, I can climb in a place where if I fell, I'd die. You know, like that's kind of cool. Huh, that's kind of cool for real, dude. Oh, yeah, bro. That's cool as fuck. That's like so fucking legit. I love mortal peril. Oh, you broke me again! <laughs> I love this pointed oh, shot. I'm blinking really fast. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope I don't die somehow. That would be real bad. <laughs> okay, let's see here. It was HP Thief to heal up it. I think that's what I am gonna do, yeah. Might as well. I mean, given that, like, he's already, like, whirly, you know? Like, <laughs> oh, you're hurting me so much! We have fun here. Honestly, like, this is this is good combat, though. For This is good turn-based JRPG combat, because oh, yeah. there are so many games where, like, it, it's so boring. To do combat. Oh, bye, elderly woman. Bye, elderly woman. Thanks oh, elderly for your help. Woman. Oh my god, did you kill the elderly woman? I didn't kill her. She just, just ran away. She just fled. Oh. She was just like, Yan, y'all got this. <laughs> she said, Gan bate, and then left. Yeah, this shit, Ope Gangnam style, <laughs> and then just left. Yeah. She said, Ope Gangnam style, and then hit the road. I don't think that's what she said. Me. <laughs> she didn't say that. Literally me. <laughs> oh, you killed one. I did. And you're about to die. No, I'm not. Don't let Alfin die, bro. Don't worry. He's a good boy. He could never die. A good boy. He's a good boy. He do get the concoct good. <laughs> he, he concocts good potions. <laughs> she cock on my. She cock on my cock till I make a potion. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> All right, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna save my boost just so that if he does go fucking sicko mode again, oh shit! Damn, bro, does like it, this. Am I crazy or doesn't uh, Brandon slash Jillian slash Sigma doesn't he have an attack where it's like, or no? I think I'm thinking of Kamoshida. Never mind. I thought he had like. <laughs> to be fair, no, I have not but, played this game in a hot second too. So like. No, because yeah. I thought I remembered him having like a like a like a cum shot like what attack. <laughs> What? <laughs> but I think I'm just what? I think I'm just what? I'm just Christian stream? What? I, I think, hey, yo! I think I'm thinking of Kamoshida. I really don't remember. That, oh my that God, sounds Therion more Kamoshida dead. to me. Therion's not dead no more. He's a good boy. He ain't dead no more. Not dead no more? I'm just gonna, like, use a heal. That's the thing. The healing mm. items. Oh, he is. He's fine, Snake. 
that's the thing, is the healing items, like, even the basic ones just heal you up to full. I like that, and I appreciate that. A, a well-balanced JRPG goes a really long way in my book. He doesn't know, chat. <laughs> oh, no. Nice. He doesn't know. Oh, no. <laughs> what does he need? Don't tell him. Don't tell me. I want to be so wrong. I want to be proven so wrong on a regular basis, dude. There's nothing quite like being so obviously wrong on stream where people can clip it. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Double slap. Slap, oh. bitch. Oh, I'm so angry. Ah, I am the angriest. All right, you're fucked up. Pew, pew. Ah, all right, oh, I, let's... I thought he was dead too. Um, yeah. Not yet. Let's uh. Yeah, throw yeah. Right. Stealing from him, but you might just kill him. Oh yeah, that's a good point actually. I forgot. I should probably try and steal. Um. Always a good idea to steal. I forgot about that on the snake. But um, I'll just like defend and then like build up my default meter so I can go bravely on this motherfucker. I think that'll be good. Steal? Oh, yeah, 100%. Pew. Heavy coin pouch. That's cool. Nice. Steal from the rich. Bravely on my default until I end layer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. There it is. There nice. it See, that was the joke that got Swag hell money. Rich killed. Hell yeah. Fuck rich people. Fuck pimps. The octo on my path to the traveler. Fuck groomers. Traveler. That one's good. Fuck Hardly words. know her. Primrose. You always were different from the rest. The fire in your eyes. It burned brighter than any others. I have seen many a girl in my years. But none quite like you. You fascinated me from the start. Come, Primrose. Won't you dance one last dance for me? Oh, fuck ah. yes. I thought, nope. I want his sprite to just slide in two. Quite the dancer yourself in the end. Guess you won't be needing this anymore. The village is still snow. I'll need to pack some warmer clothes. Oh no, Primrose, but you look so good. <laughs> Whoa. And with that, Master, I do believe my debt is paid. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I, to I, I told you! I told you he was getting his! Oh, fuck yeah. Yusuf. We are free at last, my friend. Well, very rich days strikes again, and so Primrose sets out from the shifting sands to a land of swirling snow in her quest for vengeance against the three foul crows. Where this dance will lead her, none can say. I thought there was going to be more. I also thought there was going to be more. <laughs> <laughs> so I left it hanging again. Ah, oh, I love Primrose's theme. Did Gosh. you save? I'm saving. <laughs> save right now. Save. Uh, save the game. Uh, Snake. Snake. Lou showing off why she's voice acting in Genshin. <laughs> yeah, good, yeah. didn't you know? Losing Genshin, everyone. I God. didn't know that, actually. Losing Genshin? Yeah, I'm not. She, she's in, she's no? in a Genshin, Genshin Chimpact. The Chimpact? Genshin Chimpact. Chimpact. Yeah. Chimpact. 
She chimp on my pack until I Genshin? Yeah. No, no. Yes. Yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but like endearing, <laughs> you know, like endearing. Oh, I, I respect that. It's like a, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what is it? Where, okay, so what? what's the deal with this like big coin purse? What the hell? I think you can sell it. You sell yeah, it. And then I you think, can get, yeah, yeah. get a ah, fetch yes. a fair price of soul. You just get more money from it. Yeah. Nice. I love money. Like that hit I MTV game show, I love money. We've got to money. Have money. Money. Oh my god, that fucking Tom and Jerry movie. <laughs> I watched that when I was a little youth and I was like, what? What do you mean they both never just said, oh, you can talk? Like, fuck you. Have you all seen the Tom and Jerry movie, or just Unfortunately. that? Unfortunately. No. Uh, uh, that was a long time ago. I, I remember, remember, I remember Droopy being that movie for whatever reason. The Tom and Jerry movie is not that great, because, like, the whole point of the movie is that, like... Or the whole point of Tom and Jerry, obviously, is that neither of them talk. And in the first five minutes of the movie, they have a moment where the both of them are like, You can talk? And they were like, I just didn't say anything. I didn't know you could talk. And when it, was this movie released? Like 1985 or whatever. I don't fucking know. It's pretty old. Interesting. And it has the best villain song in it, where it's like they're the villain people are singing while dancing on like money in the sky. It's it's ridiculous. I, I don't remember that. We've got to have money. Monday. Monday. <laughs> Because apparently Tom and Jerry's is like owner is actually like a young girl whose dad just has like a fortune, and so they're trying to kill her dad so that they can take custody of her and get her fortune. That is the plot of the Tom and Jerry movie. That's wild. amazing. And I don't know why I remember this, but I do. And I'm sorry that you've had to experience this in this discussion. Okay, that's good. I gotta get to fucking town, dude. Ah, jeez. I will say, again, I'm the type of player who fights every random encounter, so I do apologize if that's, like, a little less interesting, but, like, the game is interesting to me, and I like no. playing it. No. You, you content creator, go and make content for us. Go and only show us the plot. Yes. Never, never play the video game. Only show us the story. I might as well just, like, make a video where I said, And then Primrose went and stabbed Halgandish. And that's great. Moving on to Ulbrich's chapter, Ulbrich begins... It sounded like this. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Wow. And that's how Horseradish died. Anyway. Horseradish? Yeah, Horseradish. That's his name. Yeah. Anyway. So after killing Horseradish, the party goes on to uh, wherever Ulbrich is, and... And Ulbrich is a dude who's bad and good at the same time, and he, yeah, he's in Voice cobblestone. Voiced by Patrick Seitz. Oh, is he actually? I yeah. think. Yeah, he is. Poggers. He's voiced by Dio Brando. Dio. Dio. I found out that I can JoJo pose Hell yeah. the other gonna, day. So I'm going to do some NPCs, and we don't have to read them just so I can get the progression, So because I know we're, we could be a little longer, but okay, let's steal. But yeah, please keep talking, Jillian. Uh, Jojo posing takes quad strength and ab strength to do. Mm -hmm. Both are very important when Jojo posing. What you need to do is have your like your legs a little bit wider than shoulder width apart and brace your core really hard. And then just go back and trust yourself. <laughs> go back and trust yourself? And honestly, that's the most terrifying thing is trusting yourself. You can't trust anyone. You that's can't so trust anyone. Especially yourself. Anyways, I've been trying to go to the gym war because my goals is to cosplay, but I really want to cosplay Zero Suit Samus and Jolene Kujo. Yes. Hell yeah. And so you're going to the gym. So I go gym. You go gym. That's it. That was my story. Thank awesome. you all for listening. You did I go have gym to. too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you do at the gym to cosplay? To work out to I cosplay? I did legs today. Oh, yeah. So I did leg press and then I squatted with a 35 pound dumbbell, which is a PR. Hey, that's mean. What did that bell ever do to you? 
I then I did the leg curls. Wait, no, shoot. I don't remember what's what it's called, but it works your quads. And then I did the ha the hip adductor machine. Yes. And then I always start and end with 10 minutes of cardio, usually incline walking on the treadmill. Nice. And then what else did I do? I usually also deadlift, but today um, I did not deadlift because there's a lot of people and it made me very uncomfortable because I realized I was wearing light colored leggings and I'm afraid my butt sweat was showing. Nice. Very cool. That I feel like you're just talking about whatever. <laughs> Somebody else can also talk about their day. I, no, no, I'm good. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> tell me, tell me more. Uh, what else did I do today? I cleaned my bathtub. Nice. Um, I got two new scrub daddies from Amazon. Um, I called my mom. And um, yeah. We also, my friends and I, bar crawled on Friday to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the Adams for Peach speech. Adams for Peach. The Adams for Peace speech. Oh, she's 23 and she's blue haired. Oh, hell yeah. Adams for Peace. That's pretty cool. Adams for Peace. Yeah. So that's cool. That's you know cool. who? You know who gave the Adams for Peace speech? Eisenhower. To White D. Eisenhower. You know that photo of him and he's posing a little fruity? I really love that photo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. We got the blue haired else? girl. Awesome. My favorite. Okay. Um, I'm just like flopping around. Pronouns? Probably. I, I admit, I didn't. <laughs> I was I waiting did for somebody to say it. I did inquire. So I, she, and it does say she. So she does have blue hair and pronouns. Fun fact. All right. Fallen. Okay, let's uh, let's move on to next world, whatever. Because I assume that side quests are not necessarily like time, right? Like you can do They're side not. quests whenever. I you don't want. think so. That's yeah, good. you can do them whenever. I fucking love that. I love a game that respects my time. Okay, guys, I got to hang out for Primrose's chapter. I think it's a good place okay. for me to call it. I got to yes. hop off for the night. Yeah, thanks for hanging on. We appreciate Absolutely, you. thanks for having me. Uh, it was Monday really fun. You Brandon, out. you fucking terrify me with how good your Helganish was. Thank you. You know what? If I made if I made you fucking hate that guy, I did my good. job. Good. You I hated excellent. myself when I was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, get out of here, you, you big boy. You done good. You done good. Thank Hope you. to have you back. Thank yeah. you. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, A river uh, dirty. Okay. We're not ending stream though. I gotta get oh. at least to the start of Ulbrich's chapter. Cause I said I would, damn it. And I wanna see what happens. And I realize I'm a slower gamer than I thought I was. Which is fine, but like, you know. It's how it goes sometimes. On this bee of an earth. And I wanna this be like- be on my earth. Yeah. <laughs> it was an honor to be killed by Genshin voice actor Lou. Says Kingly Red in chat. I'm gonna kill him. You can't kill <laughs> Again. him. Again. How are you gonna kill him? I I have my ways. I am very threatening, I'll have you know. Yeah, you got your At this feminine point, wiles. I'm not sure if it's just an inside joke <laughs> or if Lou actually voices a Genshin. <laughs> she will. <laughs> One day it might be real. For now, it's not. <laughs> Look, we're not violating an NDA if we're doing a bit. This yeah. is true. <laughs> no, I mean, like, look, Alice is in or... Pokemon Master I'm... Sex, so <laughs> whatever. Like, we got friends in cool places. They're going to do yeah. cool things. Me? I'm doing cool things. You? You're doing cool things. We? We are doing cool things. Yeah, like we're we're all doing cool shit. Yeah, I got. Let's a, go, team. I got a meeting with the defense yeah, threat reduction agency on Thursday. The U.S. Which, government. Which agency? The DITRA. Oh. Uh, defense threat reduction agency. They have made agency. my research export controlled, which means uh, I can't talk about any results on stream, which really wow. limits, really, really limits a lot about what I can talk about. Which is fine, but it's just like, uh, okay. Which means I can talk about NBA. my stuff more. Shut up, you plant girl. Swag. Swag. I love my plants. <laughs>
I love how radioactive they are. They're not that radioactive, actually. They better not be. Owie. But it's like cooler if they are, you know? Huh, it'd be a lot cooler if they were. It'd be a lot, it's like that one country song. Be real cool if you could or did or whatever. <laughs> you know, that song. You ever heard that one on the radio? That's how I flirt with guys. I'm like, hey, do you want to see my radioactive plants? That's it. Yes, sixty percent of the it time right. it works. hundred percent of the time. Hey, you want to you want to see my radioactive plants? I got a I got the pussy plant, the one that looks like a clip. Actually, no! I, what? <laughs> Actually, there is a what a pussy leaf? Oh God, I just was out the with pussy leaf. What no, is there's like that? a. It's oh God, I'm looking it up now. It's like the puff. I we, literally I just the puffy pussy labia. ears. Pussy, pussy ears. ears. They're like a like a puffy. Labia looking yeah. like thing. They're also called kitten ears, but they're called pussy ears. <laughs> what the fuck? You can't I mean, it's a cute plant. <laughs> Me when, like, I see a government agent, but she's really cute. Yeah? <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> Look, the stream is where is my sounding board for my comedy. You know? How's that going for you? Well, I haven't bombed yet. I don't think I will ever. Is this oh, when wait, we- Speaking of bombs! <laughs> oh no. Speaking Transition. of bombs! This is okay. a great segue. Well, kind of related. Okay, well, unfortunate. So, my school campus has like two different campuses in the state, right? Yeah. Um, and early this morning while I was driving to my campus, we got notifications that the other campus had like somebody on campus with like a weapon and it was later confirmed to be a gun. Oh, so like, oh my God, oh, things my. were going crazy. Holy shit. But the thing is, is that even though it's not my campus, since it's like a, a like a school wide thing, everybody gets notifications yeah. for it. So I was getting notifications for it. And my mom gets them too, because you know, she's listed as emergency contact, whatever, yeah. whatever. So it goes by the entire day, like before noon, everything was called off. Like everything was like, yeah. everyone's all clear. Nobody's hurt, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then hours later, it's like 6.30. I'm in my last class for the night. And my mom's like, hey, are you okay? Is everything all right? And I'm like, um, yeah, it was the other campus, but thanks for letting me know six hours later. Danger uh, level seven, I could handle that. You could take it. Oh wait, this is the Eastern Sun Shades, Never mind. But yeah, glad you're okay. Also glad your mom is really looking out for you. No, it was funny because the one time, did I tell you this story? Oh my God, last semester, I uh, I got stuck at my campus for like four hours because there was an active shooter like in the area. So they locked really? down my oh, yeah. school. You talked yeah, about no, it, it was, with me. But it was real screen. fucked up. It was real fucked up, but um, it was like, it was kind of funny because at the time I was in my um, like world, uh, Pacific worlds class. So we were just like talking about like the history of Asia and shit. Yeah. And then everyone's like, it's one of those, like you're not allowed to use laptops in that class. Like, you know, you see a phone, yeah. like he'll take it. So everybody's going through taking notes and shit. And then you have this one person in the corner being like, uh, hey, um, they're saying that the school's supposed to be on lockdown. And the professor's like, what? What do you like, mean? No, nothing interrupts my class. No, it took him like a little bit. He was like, oh shit. And then he closed all the blinds and he's like, all right, let's keep going. <laughs> um, and then oh after God, that the point, tenured professor, <laughs> truly it was after the remarkable that point. person. <laughs> it was after that Man point. took the bell, doesn't dismiss you to a whole nother level. level. Holy <laughs> shit. It was after we got like our second notification that it might be something serious that he was like, oh shit, maybe I should like stop teaching. But then uh, hilariously, he took the whole like, oh, don't let people leave their classrooms thing a little too seriously and forbade us from using the bathroom for like a good like half an hour. Nice. So there was just, like a line to the bathroom. I and then mm, did anyone shit like, their pants? No, 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 no. Thankfully, it was it didn't get that bad. Like after a certain point, they were like, all right, go. But like. He was acting as if the shooter was in the building, so he's like, keep your head down and move. <laughs> but, um... Damn. Yeah, no. I mean, like... It, it was... It, it was an experience, to say the least. <laughs> I mean, like, I definitely think back to how, as a kid, we had lockdown drills, and I just thought, like, oh, yeah, it's like a tornado drill, fire drill, lockdown drill, and now I realize, like, uh, that's not, not necessarily, yeah. like, a... should not be a normal thing, in my opinion, yeah. in that sense, but... 
Hey, what do I know? I was like a four-year-old at the time. That's not true. I was seven. Seven! You know? So, uh, yeah, I mean, like, I guess, look at me, I turned out fine, but... Clearly, uh, clearly that's... Uh, a really depressing thing to think about, and I'm glad that it was, uh, not a truly serious situation, and I'm glad you had a funny anecdote out of that. Yeah, I mean, like, my whole thing to to deal with, like, the, the weird shit that I definitely should probably take a little seriously oh my God, it's is just, rat. you know, like, find something to laugh rat. about it. Yeah, fair. So, Maybe don't laugh you know. cry, so yeah. Yeah. I feel that. Rats. Yeah. yeah. There, was, what was it? there was a shooter on my campus, if I remember correctly. Really? Back in the college. Oh my God. Yeah, it was big. It was big national news. Uh, Nina, none of us really took it very seriously. Uh, we were making a playlist at the time. Nice. On Spotify. As you do. Uh, uh. Music to listen to as you, like, hide from the shooter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh my god! Yes, good music for school shootings, I think, is what that thing was called. And really? I slightly regret making that, but also, damn, that shit was funny. Oh boy. You have to find some kind of humor, I suppose. School's well, Out like for Summer was top of that list, in case anyone was wondering. Oh my god! Incredible. Incredible. I mean, like, not to harp on it too much, but, like, when I was in third grade, our school had a bomb threat. Oh, my God. And they took us to a local, like, community center. And, like, we were just, like, out on school buses outside of our school building for a while. And I remember, like, talking to my friend Connor about it. We were just, like, making up Super Mario 64 worlds on the bus. <laughs> and it was really cold. It was, like, 20 degrees, and we were really cold. But we were like, let's make a new level. It's called Zigzag Zagoon. And it's got, and like, it's lava, but the lava's made of black and white zigzags. And like, then they took us to, um, like, the Crystal, uh, Community Center, I think is what it was. Uh, and we all stayed in the gymnasium until our parents came and picked us up. Which, like, at the time, I was like, cool, yeah, hi, Dad, I'm, I'm, school's fine, nothing, nothing interesting happened. Uh, with, with the power of hindsight, I now know that, like, uh, that's definitely not a normal thing that just happens at elementary schools. So, uh, that was definitely a, uh, a day in, like, third grade that stuck out to me just because I was on the school bus for two hours in the cold, making up Super Mario levels because there was a bomb threat. Oh, voltage. <laughs> just your typical voltage moment. Just, you know, things yeah, that happen. Day, it's a nice volt moment. It's a, it's a youthful moment. Look, I've been doing a thing where, um, I've been looking through my family's like photo collection that we have on Dropbox because we have a lot of photos and I'm I'm using it for like a project so to speak because I have a website where I just upload stuff that's not as professional um y if you want to try and find it you can I'm not going to tell you what it is but um I'm writing I'm doing like you know video game reviews and autobiographical writing at the same time like contextualizing my life in video games. And I know that sounds really stupid in the sense like, ah, uh, really nerdy, but it's really interesting to explore the ways in which video games have shaped life moments or like how certain moments in my life, I just remember them because of the games I was playing at the time or something of that nature, you know? And uh, so I've been looking at a lot of photos and thinking about that and remembering things and the talk about School shooters reminded me of the time we had a bomb threat in third grade. So thank you for that. I will be sure to include that in my write-up of Super Mario 64. <laughs> I never had a bomb threat in third grade, but somebody did set the bathroom on fire and the whole building on fire in oh, shit. sixth what grade. What the fuck? In sixth like grade. a student? Yeah. So in, in seventh grade in my middle school, one of the my classmates who was in the like held behind classes that I was in mm -hmm. because of my academic disability uh, went into the boys bathroom on the middle floor so this building has a basement floor and a higher floor so on the like middle main bathroom he was smoking in the bathroom and threw the cigarette into the trash can which caused the trash can to ignite and the flames of the trash can caused the paper towel dispenser to ignite, and that caused the entire rest of the building to ignite. <laughs> that goes kind of hard. Uh, it, it, it this was, was like sixth sitting. grade, like a sixth grader <laughs> ripping a dart and throwing it in the trash. It was just, this is when I was in seventh grade. 
Oh my god. Seven, sixth or seventh grade. Same. Like, That's like literally and the only like big thing that happened at my school is like there was just a bunch of drunk bust. Oh really? Like nobody like burnt down anything or like had a oh. like serious bomb threat. Like, there was a one incident that happened at my high school that made state news. <laughs> Um, where, so at my high school, they have hall monitors, right? Which are like big, big African-American men who are like also football coaches kind of, right? Um, and they, uh, sort of sit at tables and say like, Hey, get to class. Where are you supposed to be out here? Go to, go to class. You know, it's like, you know, and, and they make friends with the students, you know, because that's what you do, uh, when you see them all the time and you want to be like a good role model and a good mentor for like, these students here who are, you know, just trying to get through school. One of the hall monitors was arrested because he was sleeping with a student and had been for three years. Oh my god! Oh, wait! Yeah. Oh my god, wait! Did I tell you the fucking story? Okay. Mm, my high school was wild because your story just made me think of this one. Okay. My high school was what wild. High schools did y'all go to? Oh. <laughs> to high school. I went to a public oh high school God. in Minneapolis area. Yeah, I went to a public high school in like the South, so I don't know. I just, it's interesting. Anyways, go on with your story, Lou. <laughs> so I, I feel like I've mentioned it on stream before, but anyway, oh, there goodness. was every year of high school, there was at least one teacher that was getting fired for sexual misconduct. Oh my God. And my junior year of high school, there was this one teacher. I never had him personally, but I kind of knew of him. Mm -hmm. He got fired because he was um, engaging in sexual activity with these two twins who were essentially blackmailing him for money. What? Threatening oh to like expose him as like a pedophile to the school if he like wouldn't give them money. What? So after a certain point, he didn't have enough money to give them. So they outed him and then he got fired. Bro, what? Damn. That's impressive. God damn. Okay. And there's no apple cart. Okay. Let's go into Cobblestone and do the theory, uh, the, the old brick. The old brick. Hello. Now I have to put in effort. Yep, you have to try I mean, now. <laughs> those brigands. What villains could take a defenseless child hostage? Hold fast, Philip. I'm coming for you. Old brick. His name is Olberick, and he is a warrior. Here in Cobbleton, a remote village in the Highlands, he hires out his sword under the assumed name of Bird. Once a great knight, he lost both land and liege, as well as his reason for wielding a sword. Yet one faithful day, fateful day, bandits raid the village he now calls home, stealing off with his protege, the young Philip. Ulbrich takes his sword in hand and sets off after the brigands. He will need worthy allies on the path he has chosen. Yeah, you want to take Ulbrick along? Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's let's see the beginning of this tale, huh? It all started <laughs> when I was born. When I was I was born a poor black boy. Eight years Whoa. ago. That was a reference to a movie. I realize it's an old movie though. Uh, I'll start because it's been a while. Here we go. Hells, is he man or beast? Is he man or beast? Damn. He's but one, yet fights like a score! You, Alex. Okay. Gods of mercy! That's the unbending blade of Hornberg! Ulbrich Eisenberg! You know my name, and so to business. Who will be the next to die? It's you who'll be dying. Look about you. We have the numbers. Oh. Enemy sold reinforcements on the left flank. To Sir Ulbrich's side, men. The Black Gods have had their way for long enough. Charge! Charge! Bah, it matters not. We're done here. Sound the retreat. We're drawn to the rallying point. <laughs> Sir 
Sir Obrick, I feared we would be too late. Nothing I couldn't handle. Can you hold this position? You make for His Majesty's camp, sir? Just so. Our foe attacked from both flanks, but we have no orders from the Crown. This concerns me. His Majesty is well guarded, sir. Sir Earhart is with him. I know this. There's no stronger knight in the realm. Other than yourself, of course, my lord. My lord. With Sir Earhart at his side, surely his majesty is in no danger? Perhaps not, but we must be certain. I would know how the battle unfolds. Besides, word from the king always lifts a man's spirits. As you wish, sir. We will hold this ground. Be safe, and may the gods guide your blade. As yours, Sir Ulbrick. Looks like it's just you, me, and the, the dudes. The dudes. Heavens have mercy. His Majesty's own guard. Slain to the last man. Who could do such a thing? Earhart! Where is Earhart? Uh, Alex. So, it was you. Um, should I be Earhart, Lou? Sure, yeah. Um, yeah, he, he is semi-recurring. Okay. My liege! Earhart, what is the meaning of this? <laughs> what? What have you done? <laughs> have you not eyes? The king is dead by my hand. What madness? What treachery is this? No madness here, but call it treachery if you will. I thought you were a friend, a brother. <laughs> Brothers indeed. How many times did we cross swords like this in the practice yards? And how many times have I told you? I see your every move, your every strike before it falls. As I see yours. Ah, but you've not seen everything. I saved one trick for the day I knew would come. Always the same dream. Ah, Philip, what is it? Uh, Alex, do you want to be Philip, or do you, or do we want to? Yeah. Philip's like a little boy. Little boy. Little boy. You want to be a little, little boy? boy. <laughs> you didn't have to say it so condescendingly mm -hmm. like that. That's okay. <laughs> He's a little boy. He's a little, little boy. boy. Be a little boy. Little boy. Do you want to be the little boy? Or should we pass it to yeah, uh, sure, why not? high register? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cravens. How did you know it was me, sir? Perfect. One must always be on his guard, even when he rests. Yes, a knight. <clears throat> no, I am no knight. Just a man with a sword. And nothing more. Oh, if you say so, sir. But there's lots of men who carry swords that can't do half of what you do. Uh, I almost forgot, sir. Are the headman's looking for you? Oh, says he wants a word. Oh, he didn't say about what. 
Tell him I'm on my way. Mm. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll go on ahead and let him know, sir. Uh, he'll be in the square. Uh, you know the one. <laughs> you know the one. You know the one. The one in town. <laughs> you know the yes, one. I know the one. <laughs> oh, God, I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> How many years has it been since Hornburg fell? My liege lost, my land in ruin. I wandered aimlessly. After a time, I came to this village. Here I earned my keep as a hired sword, hiding behind another man's name. Defending the village's villagers from bandit raids, teaching young men how to handle a blade. Not a glamorous life, but it puts food on my plate. A man like me knows only the battlefield, with only as much as the blade but at my side, and the arm that swings it. When that blade fails to serve my sworn leech, what does that make me? For years I've asked myself that question. No answer still, at least not one I like. And one thing I do know is that I owe this village a debt, a debt I intend to repay. But that's enough brooding for one morning. The headman's waiting. Yes, that is enough brooding, Ulbrich. He's all right, though. Berg, sir. Don't patrol, sir. Nothing to report. Good to hear it. Two of you today. Usually only the one man does the rounds. Aye, sir. That man thought it best. There's brigands in the hills of late. Paul Merchant got... <laughs> Paul Merchant got it for his coin purse just yesterday. It was a grisly sight, sir. These are dangerous times. One can never be too careful. I hear the headman is looking for me. Ah, he mentioned that, sir. He should still be over in the square. Now, if you'll excuse us, sir. Morning patrol, resume rounds. You bet. Hop to, hop to, hop to, hop to. Okay. Okay, alright. Let's have a look at this then, huh? Come on then. That is what you got. I'm Guru Larry, and this is Top 10 Cats and Off Fat Traveler. Oh, Here we go. Alexa? Oh, with brigands prowling the hills of late, we thought it best to add more patrols. Yes, it's Guru Larry. It's canonic. Everyone from this place must now have the accent. They must. I was gonna say, when, when did they be British? <laughs> uh, the mountain people, they have they the. They are cockney. They're mountain people, of course. I don't know no better. But that's alright. Now you can learn. Can't they? I'm Guru Larry. Alright. Village Headman. That is, uh, Jillian. Unless you'd Excuse like me, to sorry, pass I'm, it. I'm eating mac and cheese, but I can take a break. Yep. Ah, uh, Berg, there you are. And and Lou is Philip's oh. mother. Good morning to you, sir. Morning to you both. Philip said you wanted to speak to me. Yes, yes, I'll get straight to the point. We've had reports of bandits in the hills. I see you've doubled the patrols. Yes. I was also hoping to ask for your aid. We're bandits lurking. The villagers stand winter into the hills. We cannot check the traps, nor collect firewood. It's quite the predicament, to say the least. I'm about to burp. Do it. <laughs> Leave it to nice. me. Where can I find these thieves? For the precise location of the den, I fear I cannot say. 
said some of the men out searching, but... In the meantime, could you put the militia through the drills? The our men are keen, but they don't know a pommel from a pike to get my man in. Consider it done. Ah, sir. If twould not be a burden, might my Philip join in the training? If he is willing, so am I. Oh, he's more than willing, sir. I assure you, been pestering me for weeks to ask you. I'm so sorry, I made mac and cheese. No, no it's, it's, part of, it's part of the, I like the character. That's a brave lad! <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, no, no. man was always obsessed with mac and cheese. <laughs> well, some good mac and cheese there. Gives me a nice accent. That boy has pluck and ambition. And he could find a worse man to look up to than Berg here. Ever since my husband died in the war, you know. I just suddenly became southern. <laughs> southern. Well, a war. The war. The war. The war. The war. Just, the boy is getting to that age where he needs a father. A father. A father. Uh oh, is she <laughs> coming <laughs> on to you, Ulbrick? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. oh no! I just I, I didn't <laughs> say. Oh damn. She heard us. Your boy is already <laughs> a credit to the village. It would be my honor to train him. You are too kind, sir. I can be meaner if you want. Hey, yo. <laughs> it's settled then. Train the lad well, and we'll see that he does his mother proud. I will. Eat my salad. I'm not muted. Food salad. Utilize each carrot. Yummy. Okay. Challenge people to duels. Oh yeah, hey, I yo. can make people fight me. Fight me, motherfucker. A battle, fair and square, to arms. Always ready to spar, sir. I'm gonna knock your teeth in. Ah, oh, no, I only got three of them. Ow! <laughs> Jesus Christ, Ulbrich. Look at him go. <laughs> yeah, it comes Not forward. worth my time. Beats the shit out of the other man. Beats shit out of opponent. Ah! Got me again. Oh, that's the same kid. That's a, You just beat up a kid! Oh, jeez. You attack with boldness, but you leave yourself open to getting punched in the face. And so a simple counter blow straight quickly strikes you down. You must remember balance in all things. Balance, right? I'll try to remember that, sir. Oh. Oh. And now for my next victim. You. I'm going to murder you as well. That's why Ulbrich's the goat. Ulbrich, buddy. You can't just go beat up kids. <laughs> oh, Ulbrick, buddy. Ain't no way. Ain't no way this is legal. Nah, they're just sparring. It's it's not like illegal if you say you guys are sparring. That's true. I sparred. Like I did Taekwondo and I sparred with men three times my age, five times my age, and twice my height. Men. This is- this is true. I'm just gonna go through this bit. Because I want to make some progress. Yeah, no worries. Apologies. That's cool. Volt is just like sprinting to end at 11. That said, if you fought side by side, you might compliment each other well. You're both pathetic, though. I think this is- I don't remember. I don't fucking remember. Better than the sum of our parts, huh? Two heads are better than one, huh? I'm going to be... The voice feels strange in my mouth. Uh, is something the matter, sir? 
We are going to beat you up. What? No, sorry. It's a fun idea. Train together, and you will be capable soldiers one day. I love this dysfunctional fun fa family. Theory and pickpocketing, Primrose hitting on everyone, Ulbrich knocking people unconscious, and Dolphin. The two of us will go and patrol, then buy your leave. It's like the, um, like that song, and it's like, it's finally me and you and you and your me friend and us Steve and our friends. Steve. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Steve. What's the deal with your friend, Steve? Hey, how's it going? Um, yeah, Alex. Philip line. Oh, uh, sir, me next, please. Ulbrich, don't beat up that kid. Yes, Ulbrich. Yeah! <laughs> you are not ready yet. You need to work on your form. Then I can punch you. Oh. Do the drills as I showed you. And you'll be sparring soon enough. You have talent, lad. I do? Not many boys your age take to the sword so quickly. And I've trained my share. Carvins, thank you, sir. My father, he's, you know, gone, sir. He died in the war. Not the war. So I've heard. Mother's looked after me ever since. All on all on her own, sir. But soon, soon I'll be a man grown. It'll be my turn to take care of her. She is a lucky woman to have a son so brave. You see why I've got to get stronger, sir. I have to protect mother and everyone in the village. After all she's done for me, I owe her that much. I, too, once had someone to protect. Sir? Not the trauma dumping on a kid. Oh, they're the perfect vessel. It's nothing bad. Like this is my traumatic backstory. Just old memories. Keep up your training. You'll be a strong man before long. Soon you'll have PTSD, too. Just like me. I will, sir. Ah, yes, you will get some trauma, I think. Mayhap I should make a round of the village. Okay, that's alright. Can I fight you? No, I can't. Oh, no. can I fight you? Hello? No. Can I fight can you? Can I bash your brains in? Can no. I fight mm. you? Can, I, can <laughs> I fight you? No, I can't. Hello, I'm the bartender. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? What could you possibly have that you could give to me? Oh, I've got lots of things. Oh yeah, prove it. I'll show you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Someone be the... Uh, J Jillian be the villager. I'm here. Say, ah. Uh... Wait, is it coming in? No. <laughs> Why is it not? Help! Oh, it's not help. It's on the dead town. Yeah, it's 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 the distance. It's the distance. It's fine. <laughs> I can't hear myself. Because the hell? Look, I'm just chilling, drinking my Coke Zero, and then you tell me I need to do stuff, and I said, "Can I fight you first? I need to practice. I need to spar." No. Uh, can I fight? 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 I'm gonna fight. Gotta fight. Gotta fight. Lou, your turn. Bah! These dirty peasants don't know their place. We outnumber them. Surround them. We'll stick a blade in their backs for the bolts find out. Swinehood slowed us down. D do your worst, you brutes! You'll not be getting past us! 
Damn it! All these swine herds know how to fight. <sighs> Sir! Oh wait, that was you. Oops. No, that was you. Good work, man. You did well to hold them off. It doesn't matter now. <laughs> but I'll take over from Why here. That's so ominous. <laughs> it doesn't matter now. Who the nails are you supposed to be? Who are you supposed to be? He's a blatant fool if he thinks he can take us all. <laughs> oh, so you got some fancy blade, eh? I know you're sort of hedge knight. I've got damn my share, you betters. I'm telling you, this one's trouble. You both have the right of it. I'm but a common herd knight with no name to speak of. But if you've come looking for trouble, you found it. Oh, stow it or I'll cut out your tongue! Enough, Prowl! Let's scare him! I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. Time to trauma dump on some enemies. Ah, they are weak to my sword. I love it when they make games a little easier for the sake of storytelling at first. Or like, contextually, you know? It's good. And oh look, level slash. Wouldn't you know, attack all the enemies at once, and they're weak to it. <gasps> what if I happened to do this? My plate is unbending. <laughs> Oh, they did to me. I'm glad you're having fun. That's, that's honestly like why we keep you so around. So many needs you, to. Yeah, because you're the fun haver. <laughs> keep having fun, fun haver. Mm -hmm. A healing grape. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you can handle a blade, eh? Right? Just say the end of it. How the fuck you really when you get the bosses about this? You're a dead man, yeah. We'll see about that, won't we? Help! My boy! Let me. Oh, shit. Oh. Let me go, you ugly. <laughs> hmm? I'm getting away! Bah! Bah! Oh, back, sir! They, they took him from me! My poor fellow. He was trying to protect me from those, those animals! Damn it all! Ah. Uh. Me. Okay. <laughs> Forgive me, sir. There were so many of them, and I... who was this one? It was Jillian, I think. Hi, I'm here. Yeah. What am I? You're the, the oh. boy. Hold it doesn't on. matter now. We have to save the lad. We know where they are now. Hold up in a cave deep in the mountains. Then let's go! I only know what they'll do to him. Yes. Wait. So, we have to do something. They might kill the boy. If you leave now, who will protect the village when the thieves return? No. You would be playing right into their hands. Gods of mercy. Is there nothing we can do, sir? I'll go after the boy. Alone, but sir, even you! You stay and guard the village. At least until you're sure they're not coming back. Chief. You are the boys! Our only hope. Can you do this, Urge? Oh my god, eat the microphone a little more, why don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what is that? Is Sorry. the microphone made of mac and cheese? <laughs> Shut up. 
<laughs> Spilled a little bit there. Absurd <laughs> done. I'm a... A gamer. Yeah. Please, uh, <laughs> Gamers. Bring it back safe. You have my word. <laughs> you were gonna be his new father! The fuck no, I'm not. <laughs> He's daddy coded as fuck. <laughs> Pay the child support! <laughs> I'm saving the boy and dropping him off and getting the fuck out of here. Hey, bye. <laughs> what did you say? You wish to lend me your aid? Hmm. You seem like you could hold your own on the battlefield. It would be my honor to call you a comrade. Right, let's get a little uh, conservative here, okay? I'm not a comrade, I'm a uh, teammate. <laughs> Philip has been taken by the brigands den north of the village. We must make haste. I, I know someone who, like, got up in arms because someone called him his comrade, and he was like, no, 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 no. I'm not... No, no, no. I'm a patriot. I'm an American patriot. And I was like, dude, are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> like, oh my God. brother. Brainwashing works a little too well. It's a little too... We have a party of four! It's a party of four. There's... There's so many of them. Great war spear. Let's count together, gang. Look, let's let's count Why? all our party members. Ready? Uh, One. Wait, wait. How do I? Uh, invent. No. Five. Equipment. Here we go. One, two, two three, three, four. four. I'm sorry. Seven. I'm sorry. You guys pass. Ba oh, basic. Uh, basic. 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 Basic man. Basculin. Bas <laughs> basculin masculine. Basculin masculine. Stimulating earring for the max SP. Yeah. <laughs> she would wear a stimulating earring. Let's be real. <laughs> she would. Oh, guys. Yeah. Yeah. There weren't any new skills either. I know Ulbrick probably won't be able to learn any of those skills, Oh, but... yeah, they do that thing where, like, uh, you, you get weird level-up mode. Yeah. You get job points. That's right, I, for I totally forgot about this. <laughs> uh, oh, we are getting this. And we are getting, uh... Last Stand. Okay. I totally forgot about that, so... Peacock Strut. Ooh. Yeah, uh, wrote, or dancer is kind of like the augmentation kind of job. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boss. I'm, I'm for it. I'm for it, honestly. Oh, bewildering grace is so fun. It is. It is. Um, what's the uh, the equivalent in Pokemon? Metronome. Metronome. Yes. This is metronome. Yeah, it's metronome. All right, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. We ball. And I think we ball. Did, like AOE magic. We ball. I. This system is very strange to me, but I kind of dig it. It's like, I assume that, like, all of these skills you'll have by the end of it. You don't get any more than oh, what you see right here. Yeah, yeah. And then, however yeah. many skills you have, you unlock passive bonuses for the characters, as you can see. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you yeah. can put those on. Oh, interesting. So you can equip... Oh, when using a non-damaging skill on a further... Ooh. Interesting. This is really neat. Okay. Nice. Okay, I didn't know about this, but that's that's actually great. Like, okay, cool, great. Okay, awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome, what awesome, awesome. What if I restarted my journey on Octopath Traveler? What if you played along with me? Oh, what if so I grinded to do the super boss gauntlet? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, so like, that is a thing that, like, the way that I played Sacred Stones was, um, I started, like, a gaming book club kind of thing. Where, like, we just played a chapter each week, or a couple chapters each week, and it was really fun. Um, that and awesome. that, it was just, like, a good way to get through the game and not feel like... Oh. <laughs> Should I challenge the headman to a duel? Sure. Do like, it. what's the Why? point? Is there any net negative? No. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I, oh. I was gonna... I almost was doing a JFK accent there. I think there's nothing wrong. <laughs> I with don't it think there's anything wrong. Man. After me, do it all. <laughs> nothing bad. Selection at its finest. Oh man, you obliterated him. 
<laughs> well, yeah, I'm he's, waited. yeah, he's old. Whoa, 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 old phobic? What does being old have anything to do with it? I do it? not want an old person to be president. <laughs> or mayor. Okay, that's, no, that's fair. Or anything. He's the headman. Headman? She head on my man. Till I spar him and then kill him. But yeah, I, I think uh, basically what we did is we started with Pokemon Sapphire and then uh, everyone's sub uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald were like the ones I was like, here, this is just the pilot run. Like, it'll play something like this. And then you submit the game that we play next and then we vote on them. And then the one that gets the most votes on like a point based system then gets the uh, we play that and Sacred Stones one. So we just finished Sacred Stones a little bit ago and that's. Uh, what we did and now we're gonna do the next one and the theme is gonna be games that take less than 15 hours to beat <laughs> but it was good because some people just like hadn't played any of the Game Boy Advance uh, Fire Emblems were like big Fire Emblem fans so it makes sense to uh do it and so you know, Rash keeps talking about Sacred Stones like every week because yep. he's like fine I'm still I, I behind that. <laughs> that is uh probably Blade. my fault Blazing Blade or whatever Seven is named. I think it's Blazing Blade. Blade. Blazing, Blazing Blade, Blade is mean. It's like mean to you. It's like a lot less forgiving, I think, is more the way to put it. I played it a few years ago and I got to the end and when you're fighting the final boss dragon thing and like yeah. a lot of my characters died. <laughs> right. Like when you fight the final boss, it's like you need to if you don't have enough party members that can do damage to it. <laughs> You straight up just have to use the dude that they give you in the last chapter, otherwise you're, like, done for. Yeah, he died. Yeah. So, I think, like, Blazing Blade's a fine game. It's just, like, not very forgiving if you haven't played any other Fire Emblems like it. Yeah, that was my first GBA Fire Emblem. Hey, wait a sec, we got a party of five, what gives? I, th I thought we can't- we can't count. Yeah. Counting is difficult and arbitrary. One, two, <laughs> E, J, three, cow, pie, four, five, I mean, that's technically correct. Pi does come before four. Six. Tau. Miss Pi Day. Bro, every every year for Pi Day back in high school, we would like bring in circular... Um, circular food. objects? Yeah, we would bring in like circular foods to eat. So some people brought in cake. Some people brought in actual pies. Like, oh, bro, high fun. school was great. I do love pizza. Pizza's good. In elementary school, the, oh the teachers would make like would make actual pies. I think they made key lime. I made. just got sent a picture of feet. Feet? <laughs> feet! Just, Sorry, so we set set and 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 a... Wait, your boy <laughs> toy sent you feet? <laughs> he did. Oh my god, really? Yes, what? he sent me a picture of his foot. I I don't know if I can recover from that. <laughs> Do you want to? Name the largest. I don't think I can... Do you want me to put it in the chat? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jillian, I think uh, I think you've made it so that like we have to end stream. Yeah, I think you should. We should end it there. Honestly, <laughs> we'll just we end peaked. it there. We'll kick off <laughs> next week with more Ulbrich business. More feet. Not more that. Feet. No. Not more feet. No, not more feet. Um. And we'll do that. Uh, tomorrow, I will be streaming Lethal Company. And Ooh. I will be multi-streaming. So, like, uh, uh, I'm doing, like, a collab with a couple people, some YouTuber friendos and whatnot. So, be on the lookout for that. That'll be fun and exciting. Uh, next week, we'll be doing Octopath for sure. But then afterward, we'll be taking a break for the holidays, which will, again, last two weeks or so. Um, so we'll have a stream on the 18th. We will not have any on the 25th or the 1st. It will kick off on January 8th after the 18th.
Fuck yeah. Let's see if oh, there's dang. anyone to raid. Is there? Does anyone have any mutuals that I could raid? Let's Is see. My Han online? My Han's not online. Damn. I would have raided her if she were online, but she's not. Yeah, I don't have anybody online either. I have Joyu's VT, who I know I'm mutuals with, but I don't know them very well. But they're playing Inscription, so we'll raid them. Oh, my dad loves that game. Really? Great game. Love it. Yeah, my dad loves Inscription. All right. What should the raid message be? And it's not going to involve feet. I was going to um, say. <laughs> uh, bewildering Grace. Bewildering Grace. Oh, what was the what was the go fuck yourself? Go but, uh, pleasure yourself. Go pleasure yourself. Yeah. Pleasure yourself. Mm, I don't want to like send too much of a harsh message. That's though, a little I mean? strange. Okay, that's fair. It's like might be a little strange. <laughs> be like a justice for Yusufa. Yeah, justice. Ooh, that's a good for one. For Yusufa. All right, we're gonna raid uh, Joyo's VT with the raid message justice for Yusufa. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks to uh, everyone in the call for joining me tonight. It's been a pleasure and quite fun. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for uh, the, the, the Lethal Company and Thursday for Uranium, if, yeah, if you want to tune up for that. Until then, bye bye Stay Happy. groovy. Bye bye Yahoo!